All you have to do is understand Newton's third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. And I fight back. And I go boo. And I fight back. And I go boo. And I fight back. And I go boo. 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 And I go boo. And I fight back. And I go boo. And I fight back. And I go boo. And I fight back. And I go boo. Everybody here is watching undress you. Everybody here is watching undress you. Everybody here is watching undress you. Watching undress you. Watching undress Everybody here is watching undress you. Everybody here is watching undress you. Everybody here is watching undress you. Watching undress you. Newton's third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Motion, motion. Newton's third law of motion. Maybe this is the former school teacher. It is so easy. This is too easy. Do you understand me? What a fucking pussy. Newton's third law of motion. Who cares? I don't really care anymore that much. You know, it's fine. Pump, pumping hard. Pump, pump, pumping hard. Pumping hard. Pump. Pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard. A real man. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, that benching curl. Get the juices flowing. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard, pump, pumping hard, pump, pump. Get the guns ready. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, that benching curl. I go hard. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl, bed, 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 benching curl. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl, bed, 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 benching curl. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl. Get the juices flowing. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl, bed, 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 benching curl. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl. Get the guns ready. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl, bed, 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 benching curl. Pump, pumping hard, pump, pump, pumping hard, pumping hard. Benching curl, bed, benching curl. I go hard. A real man get benching curl. Just fucking Puerto Rican. It's just hard to have a conversation with the the young ones, you know? Oh, I don't have a problem with it. And by the way, who's fucking having conversations anyway? Sorry, but I'm a real good lover. Body, yeah. I with a body, man. I with a body, yeah. I with a body, man. I with a body, yeah. This body, this. I with a body, man. I with a body, yeah. I with a body, man. I with a body. Run to the car. I pop a dick pill. Run to the car. I pop a dick pill. Run to the car. I pop a dick pill. Pop a dick pill. Pop a dick pill. Oh come on, man. She's so fucking hot. Oh come on, man. She's so fucking hot. Oh come on, man. She's so fucking hot. She's so fucking hot. She's so fucking hot. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Look at her in a little fucking Lulu lemons. Lulu lemons. Lulu lemons. 
lemons, and then and then when she gets there, she goes, oh, I didn't realize you were stuttering, John. Holy shit! You know, you're like this, the hottest man in the world. You get laid all the time. High with a body, yeah. High yeah. with a body, man. Yeah. High yeah. with a body, yeah. High yeah. with a body, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this body, 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 yeah. And then we continue having sex. It's a good one. I've been there. Can you show me a picture? I told the world. Dunk, 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 dunk. Fucking cowards. Dunk, 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 I told dunk, the world. Dunk, 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 dunk. Fucking cowards. Bullied as a child. I was bullied as a father. But in elementary school, that is an act of violence. They all hate fucking with my guests, fucking with my friends, fucking with my family. That is an act of violence. I told the world, dunk, 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 dunk. fucking coward. Dunk, 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 I told dunk. the world. I don't wear kids name, I don't wear Facebook, I don't wear Instagram, I don't wear LinkedIn, I don't wear phone number having a bit of war. I don't wear white saying, I don't wear kids name, I don't wear Facebook, I don't wear Instagram, I don't wear LinkedIn, I don't wear phone number having a bit of war. I hope the world I'm old school. I don't believe in anonymity. Uh. <laughs> it's time for the Uncle Rico Show. It's time for the Uncle Rico Show. So chug a cause, cause here we go. It's done. Boom! We're doing it. Ah, uh, Baruch Hashem, we are doing it. Oh, Hello, gross! Everyone. I didn't know it was gonna be this kind of show. <laughs> Uh, hello everybody, welcome to the world famous do, 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 do. emergency Uncle Rico show. Oh, that's a good, that's a zinger. Thank you. <laughs> With your world famous Uncle Rico host, my man Anthony Zen. <laughs> On with us till yeah, birth elephant. you. Yeah, that is, but yes, in every way. And, of course, the Rev. <laughs> the Rev Bob Levy. Ladies and gentlemen. What's up? How's everybody doing? Good, everybody good? Yeah. yeah, we got some fun stuff. Uh, he's he's a drunken mess right now. <laughs> uh, but enough about Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, let's take a peek real quick. Uh, 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 where, what am I doing? It's a very, very confusing allegation. Mike V, thanks for answering my question. Skull, thank you, Mike. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, we caught up. Now let's get back to the angry, pinky, yellow helmet freak. Ugh. This uh, you've never seen two people that are equally terrible at watching clips and commenting on them. 
Watch I like know a you're going to give Stevie Lou marriage advice from a guy whose family left him. They just ho- hooked up with anybody. Yeah. Just literally anybody. Because the they're Aaron. like, yeah, okay, he's just talking guy. over it. Yeah. It's, he's uh, just talking over it. He, he stops every sentence, comments on it. You know, the, he's a fucking mess tonight. Uh, and we have the first half of this fucking mess, <laughs> which from what I hear was phenomenal. So we will get to that uh, as soon as we get to this this informative uh, information here right at the top. The Shuli Network. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit notification, because every now and then there's an emergency show. Right, Joe? That's right. Stay tuned for an emergency show. <laughs> there you go. So welcome, everybody. We're uh, creeping up on 800 people in here live. Uh, get yourself a membership while you're here. We got Rico, 300 plus episodes. Miserable Men, a couple hundred of those. We got a BS show, a hundred of those for sure. And uh, shows we did, we're still doing, we're going to come back to new shows. Get behind the paywall. Everything's there. Five gets you in, 10 gets you everything. Or you can get uh, a gifted membership here on YouTube by clicking on the link that's provided in the description. It'll take you to your YouTube settings. Turn it on because people around here like Hamhead like to gift memberships every now and then. And Travel thank Mike the Morse. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're still Mike in mem- gifted membership celebration mode. Every show where Mike's not on, it's <laughs> it's just a tsunami of gifted memberships. It's amazing. Josh, the people are really speaking. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks for saving me from watching John on his own. It's horrible. Yes, <laughs> we all know. Thank you for the nine months membership. Theo Mantis gifted five. Come on. That's right. People are feeling it. No, Mike Giftathon has begun. Just a small increment of support for a great show. Please, yeah. uh, anything helps. Uh, you don't even have to donate. Just be here and, and bust balls with us. Thank you very much. Uh, I just cranked my harg to pictures of John's son daughter. Welcome, Vitaly. Yeah, Vitaly just did. Uh, John was extra pissy tonight. Carl mm. rules. Tukey World Order. I believe Carl might be popping in a little bit later. Yeah. Uh, Kevin really hurt his feelings when he broke up with him, huh? Yeah. 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 This is this is it's like so weird. It went from me breaking up with Kevin for him losing his mind, then Kevin breaking up with John. What a hack! <laughs> uh, put up a put up a couple more. I gotta check some. Hold on. Okay. He's going to cancel the show again. Shit. Uh, the real Mike Morse, 199. Almost missed the show. Send me the link. Now we're okay. Don't worry about it. Just fucking uh, enjoy your old man beach. Geek chorus, $2. Surgery in the morning. Wish me the luck of the dabbler. Oh, shit. Good luck there. We'll be fine. Hope your vagina looks well. Uh, the Cope gifted one truly membership. Oh, no. You only get that. Oh, my God. I'll do it. Yeah. Eugene Ostermiller, gifted five the Shuley Man, Network works. memberships. God, I'm killing. Rev Ricky. Uh, Ricky <laughs> Bab, 199. Oh, no, Mike Morse found it. No, that's not. Mike Morse. Shuley, thank God you're in. back. He was out of control. <laughs> Dick's Insider, 10. I swallow come. Thank me. Oh, that's a good, that's a zinger. Huh. <laughs> hey, Mark, uh, at the end, he told me I was a dumb fuck for bringing you the Vince, the lawyer, not licensed in California. And there was no contract. Um, you don't understand. I gave him a dollar. He knows what he's doing. Loser. Yeah, that's he's. Hey, just when you think uh, you got him, he does, you know. He zigs, he zags, and he ends up Kaiser Sozang you. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, the way the game is played, at the end, mm. the dumbest motherfucker you think mm. was the smartest motherfucker. Preach. Remember that. That's probably the Preach. dumbest shit I've ever heard. Remember that. Just remember. And not only is it the dumbest shit you've ever heard, also the smartest shit you've ever exactly. heard. Exactly. You will all know when you know. <laughs> you'll know. You'll all know when you know. And you'll go. And Damn. you'll go. That guy's smarter than I thought. Damn right. You won't whisper it. You'll say it louder than that. This really yeah. is the the prime hour for Bob. Like every, oh, yeah. all fi- all fucking cylinders are firing. That's okay, right. Make a note of it. Nine o'clock. Yep. Distribute, you got you got uh, distribution. 
you got a wild Bengal tiger for the next 48 minutes until a yeah. crash like you've it's never seen. Crash and burn. Dill dog gifted 10. Let's go, Dilly. Uh, 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 I swallow cum. Thank me. <laughs> so Justin, what? thank you for the two bucks, Bubba. Uh, Appreciate it. Uh, good luck, geek. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What is it a little geek? operation or a big one? Like, should we be worried or like, you know, or is it like what? Geek like, Chorus is getting an operation. Getting, uh, he just surgery. came in saying it. You know, do you didn't see it? No, I was. I remember I left for a minute. That's why you were reading it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have paid attention to Geek Chorus going in for surgery. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Uh, the King of PA, the synagogue wants their loner kippah back. Nope, this one is a one of one, and I'm holding on to it. Let's win one for the Kippa. <laughs> what? Surely is is it Tom Skipper or something? <laughs> I like that. Tonight's Thank show you. is for the geek chorus. We're doing That's right. To him. We dedicate this to the geek chorus, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only. Uh, yeah. Love geek in the Discord, too. Always provides great stuff, songs, and yeah. images and stuff. and Very talented. So good luck with everything. Uh, let us know. Well, you'll be in here when you're back, so, you know, we look forward to it. Mm -hmm. We can't afford to lose a viewers at this critical juncture in the Dabble Wars. <laughs> I know. Every viewer counts, but, you know, we got to hold down the fort until he gets back, until he's at 100%. Uh, love y'all. You look like the last... <laughs> you look like the last shit I took, right? Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Love you right back, pal. Mikey Newport. I just can't quit all this mumbo jumbo. When I say mumbo jumbo, I mean John's mess of a life, not Zen. Although a cool nickname for Zen, perhaps. <laughs> I think it's gonna stick. Mumbo jumbo Zen. I like it. I can throw a beer can over that. How much worse can it get when Kate breaks his heart? Well, interesting uh. you say that because in some of the parts I did see, somebody mentioned if uh there was a super chat about did you have phone sex with Kate? Oh, and wow. he said, uh I haven't heard from her in a few days, so I think she's moved on. Oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah. he says, he goes, I don't blame her. She's too young. I guess she, I guess she got the picture. Like, oh he, my God, like he's like... been trying to get rid of her, and she won't go. <laughs> Wait a minute. We just got this in. The breaking news, breaking news. What do you got, Froggy? Kate recorded every call of you. And her for KB. Uh, we can only hope. Uh, fingers At crossed. She was that smart. I know. <laughs> hey, I tell you this: if she did, I'll cancel the Kate Leno show. Uh, it won't ever air if she's that smart. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're doing the fucking show. Cause how else am I gonna get blowing anal? Am I right? Who's with me? Yeah, audience, clap your hands. Yay! Hey, special guest Jim Stansel is here. Hey, everybody, look under your seat. Jim Stansel is here. The short joke. That would be funny if you were all ripped on blow like me, you know? <laughs> then, it would, then it would crush. Hey, let's go to Florida and start our own surf business. Hey, speaking of crushed, my asshole cave is crushed in. I, I sat on a mag flashlight. We'll be right back after this. Thank you. <laughs> My favorite part is go. Is go. Let me right back. <laughs> like just yeah. saying something awful. <laughs> like, Let me right back. <sighs> All right, let's get into this package, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Creeping up on a thousand. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Uh, notification. YouTube notification sucks, but I'm here. Kate Leno's amazing. Thank you, William. And yeah, it's it's world. I mean, it's all over YouTube. It's not something just us. The notifications are weird. So. I love TSN. Please keep up the great work. Hi, Joe. Trigger. Thank you. All right. We ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Hey, everybody. How are you? This is sober. Very sad so. day for me. Uh -oh. I sat on my cat. Very <laughs> sad. <laughs> Ugh. His belly is eating the word support on his shirt. You see? <laughs> <laughs> We're losing support. We're losing support for John. <laughs> Literally, right before yeah. our eyes. Give me a <laughs> <num, num>, <laughs> well, Richard Lewis, may you rest in peace. Oh, and I got uh, uh, Richard Lewis was one of the funniest comics ever. He's a legend. The man is a legend. One of my best legend. friends. 
<laughs> and uh, will he cry? Let's see. You know, I saved him in the fire once, right? <laughs> Richard Lewis was in the crowd when there was. And I walked up huh? to Richard and said hi, and, and after he had seen, and I said, "Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, Richard, I'm I'm the writer here." You know, he goes, "John, you're brilliant. This is all brilliant." <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw some guy on Twitter say, "At least he died." Uh, after he saw the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar roast. He got to witness John in all his glory. We can only hope that uh, in his Alzheimer's, he forgot about John before he died. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't even have to be sick for that to happen. Oh, so the must be going to his funeral then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they were very close. Yeah. Stuttering John, who started the Stern can't show, b- borrow favorite. a suit in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Guess. That Howard had was Richard Lewis. <laughs> and it's weird. And I don't mean to slight Belzer. I'm going to sneeze at some point. Oh, yeah. But money shot. look for a hand. You know, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky, he uses his hand. It just goes into the ether when he sneezes. Yeah. Do I have a box of tissue here? I mean, human tissue that's attached to me? <laughs> you have a non semen covered tissue around? <laughs> Like bells are better. When I was in my league, because they were like the constant guests, it was either Richard Lewis or Richard Bells. Like it was so, and they were both named Richard, so they used uh, there lies the comparison. Uh, <laughs> Therein the lies it? the comparison. They're both named Richard. <laughs> I mean, so I would. I mean, you're a different kind of Richard than this Richard. That's pretty. That's pretty weird, man. Wow. It's like I love Richard Lewis, and I was like, he was such a good guy. Mm-hmm. He would come mm-hmm. in the green room or the jock lounge, <laughs> and just be like, as we used to call it, <laughs> the yeah. jock lounge. Sorry, don't mean to get all industry on you here. No. Sorry. If there, was, if there was some sports being played, it'd be called right. a chalk lounge. All right. <laughs> and funny and lovable. Where well, Bells was more like, yeah, God. yeah, like a Pat Dixon. Yeah, Ooh, see? Fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. Like, you know, what is that? A fucking little bottle from an airline? Yeah, yeah a little mini shot bottle. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, bottle of lube. Well, Vince sent it, so he, it was to him. It's actually uh, half gallon, so you know, Vince. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Say, yeah. yeah. You know, he was he was more more of a. Wow, that's great! It, really good that you pulled that over to do that. <laughs> totally different kind of comic. He looks like he just drank poison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta watch that whole thing again. Watch, watch his face. Like Richard Lewis own. or Richard Bells. Like it was. <coughs> so when they were both named Richard, so they used. Oh, the Aaron, Aaron like Comparison. <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> I love Richard Lewis. And I was like. He was such a good guy. He would come in the green room or the jock lounge and just be like. So charming and funny and him. lovable. Here comes the air, the birth. The Where Bells was more like, yeah, yeah, like a Pat Dixon. Yeah, see, yeah, 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 see, yeah, like you know, he was he was more. What's it? More of a <laughs> totally different. Kind of You're trying to kill me with this liquor. And then in the ear, right after that, like it's just one, it's just one opening after another on oh him. Oh my god! Who poisoned my saliva? Yeah, <laughs> master of props. <laughs> yeah, he, he fucking grabs it, he drops it, picks it up, goes, uh, and then puts it away. Shakes like Michael J. Fox holding the mini bottle, and then puts it away. Uh, Richard Lewis was more self-deprecating. You know, talking about all his comedians talking about comedians, sort of... <laughs> and I just love the guy. And he's always, always nice to me. He did my show. I text fucking Hedica 
to tell him when Brennan was debating on if Richard Lewis got along with Larry David. In the beginning, they were at the same summer camp, as Richard told me on this show. <laughs> he thinks he's an interviewer from another uh, country. It's almost uh, like he has uh, an accent now. Uh, <laughs> for real, man. It's like he's holding court. Dude, he thinks there's a... <laughs> He thinks there's a reporter that just asked him this question. (laughs) Fuck. Such an insider, Jason said. Oh, my God. I can't tell you how many shows you can find on YouTube where, where he's telling that story. It was a story he told on every show. He told it on Howard. He told it on Rich Eisen, he told it on, on, on Gilbert's <laughs> podcast. I mean, Jesus. I text fucking Hedica to tell him when Brennan was debating on if Richard Lewis got along with Larry David. Uh, camera one, John. They were at the same summer camp, as Richard told me on this show. <laughs> on your <Under> oh. show. <laughs> It's like when Norton does the Doug Bell guy, and yeah. it's like, but that's a that's like a guy, and you're like, that's not real. That's real. Uh, Doug, Doug smell. Doug. Oh, <laughs> Doug smell. And Richard didn't like Larry David. It took till years later when they were at comedy clubs that he and Larry became friends. But it, it just like. I mean, I'll be able to go on. (laughs) Yeah, wait. If he fake cries, I'm. I'm, This show's over. Gonna fucking goof the Kareem Abdul Jabaros that Richard was there. Said John, you're brilliant and all that. But he always back at it. When I look back at it today. He said, John, you're brilliant. And I was like, you guys know. You've heard it. You know it. You know, I mean, it's obvious. Uh, you don't need to even hang on. That. Uh, yeah. Anyway, right. long story short, cut the homeless Hollywood squares. And, uh, <laughs> and he liked, he just, he did. Even my contributions on the Stern Show. So I always. I was thinking about Richard in Atlantic City when I was doing a line off of Dawn's back. It was pretty, uh, it was, uh uh-uh. I don't know. I always loved him. (laughs) I looked at Dawn and I'm like, you know, she kind of looks like Richard Lewis in this light. (laughs) Today. I even believe in my. Uh, Somebody said, somebody sent him a chat today, shaved him for, (laughs) they were like, you Carl, you call Carl wife's uh, uh, Carl's wife ugly, but you used to beat off to or you beat off to Dawn, and he goes, she, in her prime, she was a lot hotter. <laughs> oh my God, he said yeah. that. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> book he writes a thing in my book about me. So <laughs> Richard here's to- my book. He writes a thing about me. <laughs> School. I mean, what a- there you go. No matter your status, everybody gets the same send off from John. <laughs> School! <laughs> Joey C got the same really, when they were fighting. Yeah, yeah. Fun. It's so sad. 76? Yeah, it's all fucking old. hell, man. It's like you think all these, all these fucking celebrities are dropping like fucking flies. 76? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's the average life expectancy. Yeah. He's. He's he's auditioning right now. You understand? He's playing, he's playing. Uh, he's auditioning as guy who can't handle reality. <laughs> yeah. You know, look at this performance. It's such shit. So, but God, it's too soon. Seventy six. <laughs> right. right. When's he gonna go? Not take me in, uh, <laughs> instead. God. Uh-uh. God, I'm working on it. <laughs> Richard, here's to you. School. <laughs> Uh, I can see Richard right now rolling in his eyes in heaven, going, "Oh my God!" He's like, I got this. "Well, he's Jewish." But I really, what the hell? But <laughs> has anybody got a flat, faster cloud to get me to heaven? Because yeah. I don't want to see this shit on my way up. <laughs> That's all I need. I need John talking about me now. That's all I need. Yeah, you need. You want to film the next Curb episode? Just film when they got to shovel the dirt into the grave after they drop the, the casket. Yeah. 
and just Larry go, I didn't bring gloves. I'm not shoveling. <laughs> I mean, Larry Davis should be watching this episode right now and writing the episode where they're at, at Richard Lewis's funeral and they're doing, and Sky doing a eulogy. Yeah, about all about how he was amazing. <laughs> uh, how Richard thought he was amazing. And everyone's like, <laughs> yes. Bro, what the fuck? This what could the- be the episode. That's funny. Yeah. Can you play the den of the net thing after he does his little skull? <laughs> oh, man. It's so sad. 76? Look at the fucking it. hell, man. Oh, wrong I'll side. take 76 hey, right now. Over. I'll put the money down. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wait, first of all, he got this hair confused with this hair. Watch this. Mm-hmm. He, he wants to brush this hair aside, but he starts at whatever this liver spot. He's starting to look like Gorbachev over here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Gorbachev. But watch this. But I really found it. It's so sad. 76? What? Just fucking hell, man. Wrong side. <laughs> like they, all, these, all these fucking celebrities are dropping like fucking flies. 76? <laughs> I mean, flies away. really don't Shit. drop. You like you never see them like just fall on the floor. Right. They're yeah, usually just exactly. bothering you somewhere outside. And it's, it's just a great not... point. I've never once see a fly go by and just drop. Yeah, yeah, never. Yeah, is that no, was I that didn't... a comedian fly? <laughs> does anybody do that bit? I'm gonna, does anybody? All right, I'm gonna work. No, he had Parkinson's. I had no idea, but he died of a heart attack, which is. It's weird considering because I take these fucking medications, Torbistatin, and and uh, it's not uh, about and, you. Tell what the yeah. fuck you're telling a story about your friend. Meanwhile, he's taking two medications that keep him alive, and he's such a fucking mess he can't even think of the names of them. If there was something that kept me alive every day, I'd know the fucking name of it. Yeah, it's called low jobs. Thank you <laughs> for high blood pressure. I take all that, so I don't have any heart attacks. But it just said, and I, I just want to say to the Lewis family, I give you my condolences. I don't want to use the cliche that the Republicans do after every fucking school Whoa. shooting thoughts and prayers. But no, I give my condolences to his wife and to his family. Nobody, nobody does condolences anymore. <clears throat> Everybody's thoughts and prayers. He's a great man. Richard, I love you. Uh, <laughs> you fucking phony gone too soon so oh. that's what i uh it, it's around too long yeah. that's what i'm gonna say it, it just, here's to john around too long <laughs> i am exactly that's what i was saying josh he made it political how did he of you course. know what I mean? he had to because he thinks somehow this is gonna go like tmz is gonna pick out you know all these comedians that are Running with pictures and all that stuff. He sure. He's going to be one of them. Always. That's always his angle. That was his first fight with Brennan, where Brennan went after, you know, had his yeah. thing about Matthew Perry. He went after Brennan for it. Hey, boys, wouldn't miss this for the world. Thank you, Weasel. We love you, pal. Mm-hmm. Be well, geek. Hopefully the new tits look great. Woo! Hey, Dick's yeah. Insider. I'm with you on that, pal. That's a, that's a, hey, the professor. Keep it down, Zen. I'm watching. Jake and the fat man up here <laughs> and it's quiet and it's a quiet love scene. <laughs> uh, this show is the only thing that is allowed to play while I watch the New York Rangers. Well, thank you very exactly. much. How they doing? Hopefully they're winning. Be Him winning. dropping that bottle immediately. Hilarious. Yes. When he ain't trying, he's the funniest guy on earth. Is his Pat Dixon impression just a bad Edward G. Robinson? Yes, Eugene. A hundred percent. Um, I love this show. Only thing that could compare is a new old school show about Fred, uh, where the little top hat you wore on the last episode, you faggot. Thank you. I don't know what half of that meant, but all right, we'll work on it. By the way, I visited Richard's home at, oh, all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I, yeah, it was I thought he was doxing. He was doing a callback. Uncle Rico just isn't the same without Morse. How dare? I mean, all right, maybe. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Wait a minute. Perkins. We just got this in. The breaking news, breaking news. Uh-oh. What do you got, Frog? 
Richard Lewis, uh, dead at 76, found John Melendez brilliant. Look at that. Oh, no. It's already on TMZ. Wow. What a scumbag. He got in there. All right, moving on. Tony Perkis. Oh, look, a deli meat. <laughs> Uh, Richard is dead. Time to drink and eulogize online. Mm. I agree. During John doesn't get sarcasm. Lewis was busting his ball. Yeah, of course, Joe. <laughs> Michael, uh, yeah, thank you for becoming a Look, Richard Lewis, Richard Lewis had to know a basketball player. Probably was very good friends with him, and that's why he was at the roast, I bet. Oh, Richard, Richard back in the uh, late 80s, I think, mm. early 90s, or mid ninety, he was in. Remember, NBA used to do. It's fantastic that commercial. That was their whole slogan. It was their whole mm. like marketing pitch, and and he was in one of those commercials. He used to go to Laker games okay. regular. He's a huge Lakers fan. So his he was probably life. friends with somebody, you know, Jabbar yeah. or whatever. Oh, and he was there. All of them. And he goes, and he's probably going. This is gonna suck so bad, but I'm going. Yeah. You know, I'm going. Yeah, well, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, one of yeah. the greatest Lakers to ever play. So, of course, wow. he's going to be there. And then that's why he was fucking with John. I, it makes so much sense now. Well, think about it. He's there rubbing elbows, Richard, with uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Walton, you know, Magic Johnson. I uh -huh. mean, insane heavyweights of basketball. Titans, right? And you know John's just weaseling his way back there, and he sees Richard, and that's the only guy... He has some connection with, so you know John just came on way too strong, and yeah. Richard's like, like when right, he I met Kevin, <laughs> exactly. And he, he, can I get a hug? You know, and then Richard's just like, no, you're genius. It's brilliant. This is all brilliant. Yeah. I got to go. Bye, John. That's it. <laughs> Stuttering John getting drunk over people he thought were friends. Yeah, that's that's the show tonight. But Ralph he, he Cyril, gets a best friend in a week, like this, in a day. It, it moves it, really fast in his thing. Bob, I want to thank it, my new best friend, Kevin Brennan. Sometimes it takes a matter of hours, and he has mm -hmm. a new best friend. And then they're already fighting. Yeah. Well, you can never keep him happy. You know. He's Maybe Richard Lewis said, they made you a writer on this roast? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's all. <laughs> it's all brilliant. When you say it like that, I, yeah. I see it now. Yeah. Uh, Johnson's uh, a training. Ralph Cirilla, Richard Lewis. <laughs> when When's John's turn? <laughs> uh, what about oh, his widow what's her body like <laughs> <laughs> shit you guys remember if john visits richard's grave pretty sure he's going to hear a muffled gunshot from within the casket <laughs> the first case of zombie suicide oh call uh, that's good if being a celebrity means you die i wish stuttering john was a celebrity <laughs> Uh, these celebrities are dropping like flies, so that's why he's still alive. He's yeah. not a celebrity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but he is a fly. Yeah. Uh, Shuli, put the keeper back on. I'm Israel. Hi. Hey, Zen. You got it. Yeah, don't be ashamed. <laughs> I'm not. It just doesn't stay on. Sure. You're right. fat, and you talk like ah, a moron. Look hey. over there. Hey. hey. What is happening, boys? Oh, Frosted is... Tips World Order. <laughs> Watch up? out. Carl is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Um, frost, listen. frost, Frost, Frosted Tips World Order. FTWO. Fucking bills. Anyway. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. so I'm surprised you aren't like, you know, getting your stuff together, leaving the country, maybe. I mean, we're getting close to uh, mm -hmm. the deadline, Friday. Well, yeah. no, actually, Shulia, I came here to tell you that um, I put in my job application. And oh. I think I'm going to get a full time job with the Salvation Army loading trucks. Nice. You know what? So it was fun podcasting while it lasted, but you know, what are you going to do? Respect, yeah. man. Respect. You do what you got to do. You take care of your family first. You know, that's what, <laughs> that's what's important. Always, John always put family before anything else. You should do the same. Dude. I will. Have you guys talked about this lawsuit yet? I'm sure. No, you I was waiting for yeah. you. I didn't oh, bring good. anything okay. up. So, okay. so go ahead. Uh, I know you have some stuff you want to talk about. Please, Carl. I said this on my show the other day. Please, please, someone sue me. It's all I want in life. This this show would be way more interesting if there was a pending lawsuit involved. We have a lot more to talk about. So please mm -hmm. sue me. I'm asking you. I'm begging you. So according to John, he's still going forward with this Friday, 
for his big $75 lawsuit filing that's going to happen. So now the plan is John is going to sue Carl? No, no, no. That would be too easy. John is going to sue Vince the lawyer. Yeah. Why is John suing Vince the lawyer, you ask? To prove Vince the lawyer is not muttering Jay. Yeah. How is he going to prove that? By accusing Vince the lawyer of being muttering Jay. Does he believe Vince is my? No, he does not. And now you're all caught up. There you go. <laughs> Wait a minute. We just got this in. The breaking news, breaking news. What do we got, Frog? What is this now? That is the cost of filing a lawsuit in the state of California. It is $435, which is more than 75 for those keeping score at home. All right. So now 75 is a legal shield thing that he's talking about, I imagine. Right, Carl? Well, the other thing, too, John's so stupid. I mean, he really has gotten way dumber than he used to be. He didn't used to be this stupid. But he keeps going on and saying, it's 75 bucks to start a lawsuit against Vince, who's then going to sue me and Shuli, and it's gonna, he's going to be so excited. But he doesn't realize that just filing a lawsuit is just the beginning. <laughs> right? Just, because I mean, there's a the lot more work involved. Beginning. Yeah. yeah. So a lot more work involved after that. That let's say that John represents himself, which I wouldn't recommend, but he does Not hold court police. every episode of the Suttering John podcast. And he said he should have been a lawyer. It, it, yeah. Carl, his his wife told him. It's all he's ever wanted to do is be in a courtroom. And, uh, uh, Your Honor. Uh, uh. So go ahead. How, how, how funny is that? When you watch his show now, we were watching clips today on WATP. Everything he does, it sounds like he's like setting up his case. Yeah, because he's constantly presenting evidence and then explaining how you should feel about that evidence. It's not even a comedy show anymore. He's like trying to prove his case. It's like, John, you're an idiot. You're not an attorney. You don't know what you're talking about. No one's afraid of you. I'm it's telling like you, Perry I... Mason with Down syndrome. He's watching him. It's <laughs> I'm fucking you, amazing. I, I have an idea for an animated show where it's a court in his mind and all these arguments become court cases in his mind and he can just be the lawyer in his brain. That's where. That's the only place these cases are going to happen. They're not going to happen in real life. What was that uh, TV show with Lisa Simpson in real life? Someone's mind. Herman's oh, head. Herman's, Herman's head. head. Yeah. Yeah. That, that'd be Herman's court. We'll call it. <laughs> yeah. Where Stuttering yeah. John's walking around. People are doing bad things to him, and he's litigating it all in his head. Yeah. He's just like, "Up, oh, you're going to prison. You owe me two hundred fifty million dollars." He just. Going around litigating everything. I'm going to the bar to have lunch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can write and, it off. And then Vince <laughs> Vince popped into our afternoon show and was like, uh, "Any? Would you like to, uh, you know, refute anything you've said, or do you have it?" And I'm just like, "Fuck off!" Yeah, like go do this bit on his channel. It's it's like do oh, something or shut okay. the fuck up. So let's talk about that real quick. And I don't know yeah. if everyone's following all the stuff that's going on. It's all ridiculous. I think you got everyone up to speed. So Vince obviously is making all this up to make John look foolish, to get John sure. to take action. And, of course, Discovery would be amazing. If John did file a lawsuit, which he won't, if he did, that would mean Discovery opens up. We'd get to find out about his finances. Correct. Which were, which. If I lost a lawsuit to John, it would be worth it to me for the discovery phase of it. I would make that money back and then some. Absolutely. So I I'm totally open to it. But people think that I'm actually colluding with Vince mm. to make this happen, which nothing would be further from the truth. You know, Vince and I are not talking about this on the side, trying to get this figured out. But what do you think Vince's role is in this? Do you think he's fucking with John? What's his end game? Yeah, I definitely think he's fucking with John. He thinks he can fuck with everybody. So he he does. He tries. And yeah. and John John and, you know, Eric are two of the easiest people to fuck with. So that's why he gravitates towards them. Um yes. but at the end of the day, he doesn't give a fuck about John. Uh he he doesn't he doesn't care about him and he's not looking out for his best interest. He's just not. Yeah, so, thank you. Yeah, the ice so what, cream's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, I take it beer. back. Maybe, maybe him sending him a case of beer every other day <laughs> is a guy that's looking for his best interest. Maybe I'm wrong, but something tells me it, it's gonna be, you know, the same old, same old. Don't ever contact me again, Vince. You're dead to me. I thought Vince was mad at me, but tall boys. All right, yeah. <laughs> we're back on speaking terms. <laughs>
what is this? A picture of me with Artie? You know what, Vince? You're all right. Yeah. I thought I thought you said something on your show, Carl. Maybe it wasn't your show, but that uh, he has a friend in Long Island that's going to represent him pro bono. Oh, Didn't he say something yeah. about having? I think he has like a lawyer friend back home. He said that he he heard my case and now uh, he decided to take my case pro bono. I wouldn't so, be surprised. John's always looking for freebies from people, and everyone's <laughs> trolling him all the time. I'm assuming he's coming at you with some horrible, shitty lawyer from Long Island. <laughs> well, and, you guys know about uh, Unique, the YouTuber used to be saying Z, yeah, who yeah. was was fucked with Brendan Schaub, and right. that case was recently thrown out. Oh, Unique, nice. Good. Unique won his case against Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub has millions of dollars. He has all of the uh, ability to bring forth a lawsuit. Mm. John has none of those things. And he's trying to bring a lawsuit based on the fact that we're saying, yeah, I think Vince the lawyer might be muttering Jay on Twitter. And he right. thinks he has a case. But meanwhile, everyone else who's tried to sue someone over YouTube disputes has lost. But John's going to win. Okay. Good well, luck, I, buddy. I said earlier, I just hope this gets to a stage where John or someone has to explain the dabble verse to a judge that yes. I got to see and hear, you know, for myself, because that'll the, the case will be thrown out in a matter of minutes. Uh, will he be in a straight jacket before he does that or after? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the minute he goes, I mean, not the potato, uh, the puppet. I mean, hold on. You're on it. Let me start over. He's like, I'm fucking out of here. Um, so I don't know. I, I brought this up earlier, but it might be a little. I don't know if you watched the show earlier. Someone sent him a chat about Kate Meany. Uh, if you talked to her and he said he hadn't talked to her in a few days and he mm -hmm. thinks she's moved on. Uh, that was John's. They word. broke up. According to John. <laughs> but then he goes and it's probably for the best. She's too young. He goes, what? He goes, maybe she got the message, you know, like he's trying to let her off the whole time, you know? Like, uh, oh my like, hey, God. kid, I'm bad news for you. You don't want a guy like me. <laughs> Hold on a second. I just looked up at the calendar. It's Wednesday. They yeah. already broke up. According to Johnny, he, he said he hasn't heard from her in, in a while, which I don't know if that's a day, a couple hours, two days. Wait, Julian says uh, that Kate Meany is now with Bichetti. <laughs> Is now with what? <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike Muschietti's talking to her for three hours while he's on his uh, hike. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you hang up, Kate. No, no, you hang up, Mike. Uh, have you heard anything about the Kate Leno show, Carl? Have you heard hey, anything you guys, about it? Hey, did you guys hear about this? Hey! I was talking, hey! I was talking hey! to Stutter and John for the last three hours. Hey, did you hear about this? Where is it, Frog, you piece of shit? Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> what happened to the Kate show? Yeah, it's true. John and I are taking a break. Uh, yeah, I just need to kind of clear my head and have somebody fist me and wear me like a watch. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. Right I like that suit because it hides her flabby arms and cellulite. <laughs> uh, I love that. Uh, the Lewis family, uh, family just disconnected from all social media. This dude is a master douchebag. Thank you, boys, for the emergency show. Thank, thank you, Hugh Jasshole. Oh, uh, Hugh uh, Jasshole. Uh, no one oh, liked you on Stern. That's why I'm here, buddy. No one. I uh, wasn't even yeah. on Stern. What? What the? F oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it could it be? Could be me or Bob? Now that I think about it. So I don't know. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Uh, the energy line to John's harg is clogged, <laughs> as we hear. <laughs> Uh, now I'm going to have to Febreze Old Blue. <laughs> old Blue, the cat. I salute your life with this cheap, weak beer. <laughs> uh, his Richard Lewis eulogy was just oh, fucking, just, oh, such <laughs> shit. It's immediately all about John, you know? He really thought there was four cameras around him and people just walking around in the back. Oh, uh, I don't really know if you saw it. Because uh, he I haven't goes. seen the show today at all, but I know that Richard was very impressed with the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar roast. So yeah, yeah. I imagine he made it about that. But at one point oh, yeah. he goes, he goes, I texted Adam when Kevin was talking about if uh, if Richard was sick of Larry David. I let him know that they had been friends since summer camp, as Richard told me right here on this show. And then just looked into the camera as if Access Hollywood was sitting in his living room with him. The fucking dumbest shit ever. Richard Lewis was the kind of sarcasm. Uh, was the, the kind of sarcasm. Oh. 
well, the kind the thing of sarcasm. I think is what no, he, he said yeah. kind, and that's what it <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, it's easy. Uh, he was messing with Stuttering John. Stuttering John is too <laughs> dumb to realize. You don't need to act like this on Tom Kipper. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to make this political, but I pray to God that a Republican wins the presidency <laughs> just so we have four years of John losing his freaking mind. Oh, it's Amen. Uh, Carl looks like Lou Pearlman's last ba uh, boy band, Twink. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He would Reels. Know. Well, look at you, you beautiful bastard. Gifted 20. Oh, my come on. Ah, He's just uh, showing off. I swallow come. Thank me. Hey, penis. Uh, the one guy with hair who should be blowing two dicks. <laughs> no, he doesn't fine. even have to with that haircut. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You, you get by. You get by. Uh, oh, hey, Carl. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, Carl's got to go. The skateboard park <laughs> Oh, roasted. Get the He's fuck out of here. Hey, Johnson, uh, Johnson's a tranny. You Thank dumb you. <laughs> what? How about that revelation that uh, his son Knight's been married since 2020? Since 2020, yeah. got no invite. Well, there was a, he got a photo, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so it's everyone... almost like being there, they say. Yeah, right. yeah didn't, didn't everyone who follows his son on social media get a photo? I mean, a picture is worth a thousand beers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he, I like when he goes, uh, he goes, oh, you weren't invited. He goes, I don't think anybody was. He's yeah, still nobody, not sure. No, <laughs> nobody <laughs> was. He's got to throw out there that nobody else was invited just yeah. to save some face. Yeah. Uh, I don't usually encourage German men to go blonde, but it looks good on Carl. I agree. Uh, if Stuttering John sues Vince the lawyer, he won't. I can't wait to see every last bit of Stuttering John's financial information leaked by Vince the lawyer after discovery. Yeah, I think that's what we're all waiting for. Uh, that and the and the meanie tapes. Uh, Dog yeah. boy, I must say I do think Stuttering John's parody of Carl is funny with the walrus teeth and the growl. It's only funny to me because it's so fucking stupid. It, yeah, it really is the worst. Every time I see it, I get so <laughs> mad. It's just well, there's also it, that that weird thing. So I <laughs> pop up and I go ah, mm. and then for some reason it goes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't use that sound effect on my show. I don't even get it. I don't even understand it. That's so funny. I believe if you file a small claims case in California seeking five thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars, the fee is seventy five. Uh, okay. That way, Stuttering John doesn't even need a lawyer because he's freaking broke. Hmm. Thank you, Eugene. Uh, I wish Stuttering John could go to court and represent himself. He would love it, even even though he would lose because it would be the first time he'd hear a crowd laugh at him. <laughs> but he would say the judge was an asshole. Of course. That's it. Well, he said it about the judge that, that he lost the second serious uh, lawsuit over. He went on the air right after and just trashed the fucking judge. Mm -hmm. uh, John is going to sue a lawyer, perform a root canal on a dentist, <laughs> and pull over a highway patrolman for speeding. Quite the busy day. Thank you, Professor. It's a renaissance, man. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get back. Hey, Shuli, if this ever does go to court, can we make sure we get the ham sandwich video into evidence? Absolutely. And the roach video, too. And the one from the Davies where just a bucket of water fell out of his mouth. Oh, yeah. Well, that you know what? Just, that just send the whole catalog. They send the Davies, you know? Send the Davies. <laughs> I, get, I just got to see a jury go, oh, oh, my God. No. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Your Honor, Exhibit E... This is uh, John drooling. Like, what does that have to do with anything? I'm like, I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I <laughs> want to fuck up the jury's lunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a room of people react like that to, to something that wasn't violent or bloody. Uh, like, a Phantom Menace poster? I rest my case, Your Honor. <laughs> it's like Zen walked out naked. You just, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I get there's, that a lot. Especially when I walk around naked. Yeah. There's children here. <laughs> Guys, wait till governor. Okay. Now, no more somber, John. Now um, it's time to. I'm sorry. Do you want us to go back to the Richard Lewis eulogy? But he, he, we're not going to. He's no, going to. Okay. He's kicking the tires. I'll, right I'll now. watch it later. Let's go. Really dive into the ridiculousness of people like the shit wayer and Lady Kmart. Hey, that's us. <laughs> and even Vince the lawyer. No. Uh -oh. Even Vince. Oh, yeah. He claims he's mad at Vince. He doesn't. 
he's not going to say it, he says, but he goes, but I bet Vince will talk about it. Yeah, you think, stupid? Mm-hmm. So, uh, but later on in the show, Vince called in, and he was on, and he was talking to John. So, you never know with this fucking guy. Fake reflective pose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never had a deep thought pose right there. And it's just become, I watched Vince's show, and I like I like Vince's show. But sometimes he doesn't understand everything. Can you pause it real quick? Am I yes. I cuz I wanted to talk to you about this, Shuley. Yeah. So he had he had Vince on his show the other day before Vince came on. He was watching Vince's show. And Vince was uh making a really great point where he said, you know, Shuley canceled on a stand-up gig, and when he did, ticket prices actually went up. Right. And right. John's watching right. he's like did you hear that? The ticket <laughs> prices went up when they found out Shuli wasn't on the show. So then, you know, because John's just a gullible moron. So then Vince comes out of his show and he goes, hey, was that true about the ticket prices going up when, when Shuli canceled? And Vince goes, well, no, it was a joke. And Jack goes, you can't lie to me like that, Vinny. You can't. Like, he's so stupid. He doesn't even get the joke. John, you don't get the joke. Vince said that. He pulled up, okay? Yeah. He went to get the tickets that he bought, and they said, no, you owe me another 25 each because Julie's not here. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is great. It's a hilarious joke. But... Right. <laughs> and, of course, it, I mean, you're talking about the same guy who thought Sinatra mugshot was Rocco from 1938. <laughs> yeah. Was he really arrested? <laughs> is he arrested in Bergen County? Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, it's He's not so stupid. Like, it's fun to fuck with him, but don't take too much of a victory lap. I mean, nobody's yeah. curing nobody's <laughs> curing cancer over here. It's a pretty easy mark, you know. <sighs> Buddy Mark from Canada was like, "You see what Vince just said? He wants you to sue him. So then you have to release your financials. This is all a big troll, yeah. which." Somebody called into Vince's show and said, and Vince had his little <laughs> smile and laugh to it. And I'm just going, is that what it is, Vince? <laughs> Still is not sure. Still not sure. Still doesn't know if he's being fucked with. Going now. <laughs> this guy, this guy <laughs> trolled you longer than all of us put together, right? And then, and then. He says, I'm going to help you bring these guys down. And you go, okay, you seem like a guy that would help. <laughs> but it's worse than that, Julie. He goes, all you got to do is sue me, yeah. and I'll be forced to sue them. Yeah. He's like, hey, if you shoot me, Carl's going to go to jail for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, put, just really put is. on this Carl mask yeah. and go rob that bank. Yeah, no, seriously. Take my He's wallet. He's so stupid. And take my wallet, but give me Carl's address. I'll send the cops there. I never really thought of it this way, but it's fucking yeah. hilarious. It's the most ridiculous thing. It's sue the, me to sue the, them. It's the first thing VTL has done that's actually funny. Yeah, it is an idiot. And the only bigger idiot is John. And he, he's going, this it. He go, when Vince first brought it up, we're gonna have to go back and watch because the the excitement, John. He goes, John, Vince goes, you sue me, and he goes, please, Vince, let me do it, let me sue you. Vince oh is like, God. I need you to sue me and oh. your mom. Oh, <laughs> uh, 165 IQ, folks. That's what we're dealing with here. Yeah, you, oh, get, you guys just shit. don't play chess. That's, that's the, thing. <laughs> the long con is yeah. bigger. <laughs> you don't get uh, it. They play uh, chess. I go for a walk. Yeah, yeah. it's just it's. Uh oh, retard alert! <laughs> <laughs> retard alert, class. I mean, you you got uh, you got a suit. It's a third party <laughs> lawsuit. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> I'm going to sue you by proxy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, two lawsuits. Two lawsuits from now, your ass is mine. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Vince, let me frost your fluff on top so you kind of uh, look like Carl. Oh <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. I was trying to figure out. So 
in, in order for this lawsuit to work, John has to prove that Vince the lawyer is muttering Jay, which means John's going to need the evidence that I have for his case, right. which I will send to him. Right. But I don't know if that's going to work real well for him when he wins his lawsuit against Vince hey, the lawyer. Carl, before I sue you, can you help me with my lawsuit against yeah. Vince? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever. I'll be a character witness, whatever you need, yeah. buddy. You see, I only have to beat one of them now. Yeah. <laughs> and the judge in the next case is like, wait, didn't Carl help you against Vince? <laughs> He's like, yeah, Your Honor, but this is the guy I meant to sue in the first place. Oh, my She's God. like, what? What? The judge what? is like, what? <laughs> what? And I don't even care. You want to know how much I have in the bank? <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> you want to know how much stock I have? I don't care. We you've seen won. your act. You've one stock. One stock. I don't. What is it? Chicken or beef? Which uh, <laughs> what stock does he have? Hello. <laughs> you can see that the guy's like, oh, you, you want to see John's apartment? I don't give a shit. Show it then. Yeah. I don't. You you could have made so much money by now showing that apartment off. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's yeah, hold you on. could have went to the dump and we would have never known, you know? <laughs> hold on. So Discovery, you have to prove, <laughs> hold on. You have to prove there's damage is done. You have to show how you make money, what your revenue right. is, how you might have lost money. He goes, right. okay, the judge wants to see my apartment. Have had it. Yeah. I don't want to see your apartment. Yeah, you're not adopting a dog, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> see his apartment. It's amazing. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, insane. Oh, Hi. Where, yeah. I can just see him Friday morning. Hi, where's the $75 lawsuit window? I'm supposed to go uh, see somebody Is there, there a way to send these tapes, some of these short ones, to Menza when he talks about it? <laughs> no, truthfully, I, I yeah. really think that they need to know They have a lawsuit, on. right? Yeah, yes. Really? Yeah. That is a case. That yeah. is a case. Hey, this guy says he's representing you. <laughs> Oh the IQ test is suing John for claiming he has a 165 <laughs> IQ. Oh. Care. I'll clean it before you see it. No, you won't. But I don't give a shit. I do not give a fuck. <laughs> so, you know, my <laughs> buddy's like, thing. no, you don't want to have to release your finances. Full disclosure. Mm. Who gives a shit? I got money. Yes. I got stocks. Yes. Suzanne I got my I girl have... who could ask for anything <laughs> more. <laughs> you know what's going to happen Friday, right? Here's the, here, I'm calling the shot right here. Friday shows up. He does a show. He goes, I was all set to go. I had everything ready. But then I started thinking, you know what? I'm too smart. Vince is up to something. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Watch. That's it. No, it, it'll be something even dumber than that. Like, I don't even care. Oh, it doesn't bother oh. me. I'm or not going to give worse. them material. Yeah, I don't want to give right. them the satisfaction. Or even worse, my kid's sick. I couldn't go. I had to uh, <laughs> stay home. He wouldn't even think of that. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. On college funds. Hey, surely. Yes. Why? You know what costs less than $75? Mint what? Mobile. MintMobile.com oh, yeah. slash Shuli. Get over there. They got premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. And most of all, mm -hmm. they support the Shuli Network and Rico and all of us. So support them back. It's really a good deal, man. Go check them out. MintMobile.com slash Shuli. Thank you, Ron. Mm -hmm. Don't ever do that again. Until the next one. Do I own a house? Yes. No, the bank does. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Own a lot of things, yes. <laughs> well, a oh, lot of people do. He's got a guitar tutor. He showed that yeah. off recently. Is this light of mine? Yes. <laughs> Look at how yeah. many forks. That's seven. <laughs> You're right. I recently became the owner of five bananas. <laughs> <laughs> do I own this hat? I do. I can put it on. I can take it off. That's what my choice as an owner. This Man. open can of Mountain Dew still carbonated. <laughs> I put a lot of money, my money, into copper. <laughs> <laughs> copper elbow. Am I looking for another house right now? Yes. Or a condo. Uh oh, ten oh three then. No, well, I'm I good to go. I don't I, give a shit I, about that. But if, in fact, Muttering Jay got me fired, 
from school. And Lady K and Shitwayer are saying Wait. that they have <laughs> Hold it. On. It's a fact they're saying. Okay, well, wait a minute. Go ahead. Looks Go like ahead. I am going to sue you, Carl, and then I'm going to sue John for saying that I definitely got him fired. So, yeah, sue Carl to sue John. Right. Yes. Because then Carl's going to have to prove something, and then yeah. and then you sue John after that. That's I got good. it. Well, fight. well no, because because well, Bob got John fired. Right. So yeah. if John's saying that I got him fired, I don't want that kind of credit if bob should get the credit so bob should sue me no this all makes sense you're you're spot yeah. on i'm gonna sue you and then you have to sue john let's rock then... paper scissors let's rock paper scissors <laughs> loser sues winner or vice versa let's, let's sword fight way. wait a mint mobile would have to sue bob first that's right uh it's so fucking crazy this is insane but think about it. If Muttering Jay got you fired, why not sue Muttering Jay? <laughs> who Muttering Jay is, you fucking idiot. Well, John even said on his show this week, he goes, and Muttering Jay will tell you. Like, he's buddies. You know he's DMing with Muttering Jay. Like, they're BFFs. Of course. That's insane. Of course. But the other funny thing that he fails <laughs> and, to and remember. Vince is laying there in his fucking underwear, is eating grapes, writing back to John. <laughs> oh, my God. Typing with his toes. He's like... <laughs> It's like, it's, like it's like that. It's like that scene in Heat where Al Pacino meets up with Robert De Niro in the diner, and yeah. he's like, "You know, I'm gonna have to take you down." Right, right. <laughs> but Vince, but De Niro, uh, uh, De Niro's in a booster seat played by Vince, yeah. in a, yeah. a high chair, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> strained peas, open, open, choo choo, choo choo. Uh, but the thing he he uh. never seems to bring up anymore is this tweet about the bikers coming to pay you a visit, <laughs> right. which, correct me if I'm wrong, Carl, but he revealed in a candid moment not too long ago that that tweet got him fired uh. from his job, correct? Or am I mixing up stories here? No, he, he's definitely alluded to the fact, because he even said on his show, he goes, I don't know what got me fired. They won't tell me. <laughs> Can you but imagine it, the bike and crew going after Carl and going, get on the back of the bike. We're going for a picnic. Yeah. <laughs> John's like, the guy with the blonde tips. Get him. <laughs> yeah. no, that, that guy seems kind of cool, John. We don't want to hit him. I can see myself winning them over like Pee Wee Herbert. I'm dancing on the bar. And they're like, yeah, we love this guy. <laughs> Hey, Mars, get on that. I want to see that in Discord. Carl, oh my do a dance on the board. Uh, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were going to say something, Zed? Did you no, it says you see a bunch of old guys on, on the back of their, their jackets. It says Hell's Arthritis on it. <laughs> they, got, they got the handicap plaques on the patch on the vest. <laughs> His gang would be the fucking Hell's. The fucking, <laughs> fucking, the fucking Hell's. <laughs> fucking Hell's Angels. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, oh, Vince the lawyer is muttering Jay. You just hey. said it. Uh, now. now. Hey. Oh, Vince, you, sue no, he's got to sue himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> retraction. <laughs> retraction. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to call my next witness me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have until Friday at noon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like impossible. Can't be. There's no way I watch Vince's show and Muttering Jay is busy tweeting like crazy. There is no possible way. But Lady Kmart, he seems to know everything. Mm. Him and his ugly fucking mom wife. Jeez. Wow. He seems to know everything. I hope it's in here, but he, somebody sent him a super chat and said, uh, you call Carl Carl's wife ugly, mm. but you claim to beat off to Dawn. And he, and he and he goes he goes in her prime she was much hotter. <laughs> like how can uh, Dan and, listen to that? What he said that I know about his wife and, and I know. say, you know what I mean? Wait, wait till it comes up. I think the only saving grace for John is Dan doesn't care about Don anymore, so it may not be an issue. So I gotta go well. Lady Cock, Lady Kmart is on to something. Lady then, Cock? Did he say Lady Cock? He was going to say Lady Carl. 
and then um, and then or Carla. Let's. I thought it said cock. Now, Lady Kmart and Shitwaya, or as I call them, gig canceller. Whoa! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, what please hold on a sec. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Looks like one of those whale sharks when they open their mouth. Thank There's you. no teeth. Just the. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know if they're in cahoots. Do they have separate knowledge that Vince the lawyer is money in jail? I don't know. I do know one thing though. I know if right. Muttering J is Vince, I have a lucrative lawsuit against Vince the lawyer. Oh, so you want you're rooting for this now? Right. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. funny. All right, maybe I should send John the evidence I have. He, he's maybe. rooting for it. He's represent- funny. That'd be great. Friday goes. I was all ready to file it, and then Carl <laughs> sent me the evidence. <laughs> maybe I will. That's funny. He is one hundred percent Muttering J. Sending <laughs> me. And then we can hear Vince go, no! <laughs> yeah, that little. <laughs> and essentially, he betrayed his own client. <clears throat> Therefore, if I sue Vince, I don't care. I'll show you every dime I fucking have. <laughs> That's his worst nightmare, by the way. That, don't let this act fool you. Mm-hmm. He's terrified of that. It's why he won't do it. Number one reason. Because then Vince will be forced to take legal action against Lady K. This is like a lawsuit riddle. This isn't <laughs> even like, a, I don't even know. Well, the, what's the answer? He's a midget? I don't know. <laughs> will the so defendant uh, pull up? There's like three defendants yeah. coming up. Will the, will the defendant jump up so I can hear you? It's like legal domino. Know, it's like legal dominoes. It's like if I knock this down, that'll happen. Right. I don't think it works like that. Uh, <laughs> Mark might be mad at me, but I'm I'm still filing. Oh, and <laughs> oh, no. I don't gotta borrow the money Please. from Vince. Oh, this is great. You had a funny oh, joke. This is a joke, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't get the humor in this. No. So I'm still filing. Shot. I know my buddy Mark might be mad at me. Whoa. Your life partner. Just call him your life partner, John. Buddy. But I'm I'm still filing. Oh, and Lady K, I don't gotta borrow the money from Vince to file. And guess what? M Bessie, I don't need your fucking money. You left. Yeah, John's gonna have to borrow from me. No, I'm not. <laughs> It's seventy five dollars we're talking about. Relax. I know. <laughs> well, don't forget he was shorted fifty bucks by so Kevin Stark. I'm gonna up. get it from my mother. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> He's gonna have to ask Mike for it. Oh, stepdad, that's gonna yeah. be embarrassing. Can I get my allowance a little bit earlier this week? <laughs> <laughs> Another so- lawsuit, son. <laughs> Got more money than you <laughs> Don't spend it on one lawsuit. <laughs> Oh, no, I got two. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, instead of what do you got a date? What do you got another hot lawsuit, son? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> you fucking butts. Oh. He's like, oh, well, John's going to have to, John's going to have to ask me for the $75 file. <laughs> hey, maybe that's your idea of a joke, Vince. It ain't funny to me. Wow. You got to pick your battles, buddy. Well, Come on, what are you doing? <laughs> you want to talk about my trans kid? Knock yourself out. But $75 joke? <laughs> oh, it's over. Priorities. It's over. <laughs> so Everybody's got a price for the X million dollar man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I like that John's like, I can afford it. Wait a second. Was that Super Chat through Apple or not? Because... Yeah. First of all, like the whole things. the whole joke was it's seventy five dollars, yes, right? Like we, uh, you know, I'm sure people think you don't have it, but I honestly think you have seventy five dollars to your name, John. But it he, wasn't even my joke. Christian Blatt said that on my show. Christian Blatt's right. never funny. He said that <laughs> one thing, and John could not let it go. I like Christian, but you are I right, love Christian. And uh, but but yeah, no, he he. He's just like, it hurt him so much and pissed him off so much. 
that it's got to be close to accurate. Yeah, well, it, it's similar to did your son ever queef in your in your face? It's hitting mm. too close to home. He's very upset yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Johnny! <laughs> oh, no. I'm recognized. <laughs> if you don't think he lives paycheck to paycheck, then you're very mistaken. This guy, he, he has to budget every week, and he has to yeah. put what's the priority every week in his yeah. budget. Beer first, and then everything yeah. else kind of comes second. No, a Anthony, yesterday... I was watching the show for a minute and he was drinking like natty ices or yeah. some weird thing. And people are like, why are you drinking that? It's like, well, that's what Vin sent me today. That's how bad it is. He doesn't even have a 12 pack in his fridge. I mean, he drinks he's not day. even a human. He's a lab rat at this point. <laughs> yes, you're right. Yes. You know? no, Let's Vince try is... this. Let's see what this says. Yeah. Bob's not wrong. Vince is literally setting up experiments <laughs> in his apartment and John's going through it. He's like, Vince is like, I wonder how he'll react when I send him a box of tampons, you know, well, and then he sends be, it he'll to He'll be him. using them in about a month. It's right. Oh, you're going to see he's got a nosebleed one day. He's got two tampons in his nose. <laughs> he's going to be like, thank God Vince sent these uh, super flow, you know, <laughs> Uh, is it weird that I think, uh, is it weird if I think Carl's bleached hair is an improvement? Yes. Uh, enjoyed the super show with him and Ant last week. Excited for an emergency show tonight. Thank you, BLR. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Carl, you can't go wrong with Carl. Come on. No. Carl, how long do you have to have the real frosted tips? The fake ones were better. <laughs> I get this question a lot. My, my, my folks are over for lunch today, and they go, how long do you have that going on for? I go, well. There was no speculation on that. <laughs> I can cut it off tomorrow, but I'm growing my hair out. So yeah, let it roll. I thought the question was, so when did you move in with a guy? I thought that's the question. <laughs> we've been asking. John's uh, John wins lawsuit. The court of public opinion. <laughs> yeah. John thinks the court process is like liar, liar. <laughs> yeah. Everything is movies. To him. Do you think Vince uh, roots around John's rot pocket? Hello. I think he'd like to. Knight got angry when Stuttering John asked if his wife had a big heart. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, Love you, Bob. Can you hook me up with the chick in the left yeah. corner? <laughs> <laughs> I was spoken Huffy. for. Gifted five. Thank you, Bob. Ah, the French. Damn it. I just saw there's an emergency show. What happened? Uh, is it KB, Kate, Vince, <laughs> Carl, Shuley? Did someone trash his kids or is that or, or is this all fake? <laughs> Good to see Lance Bans, uh, Bass joined Rico tonight. Hey, Bob and Shuley, love the content and show. And hey, come pig, come I'll pig. include you too this time. Come pig. <laughs> Bob loves that name for you. <laughs> He really does. He lights up when that guy oh, really? like the nighttime. Yeah, yeah, you. Dylan, Carl, your head looks like the reservoir tip of a used rubber. Love y'all. And Bob, what does this look like? Uh yeah, I bet John would get a cup oh, from that. Like, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Richard Lewis's ghost hired me to sue stuttering John for defamation. He didn't say you're brilliant. He said you're a piece of shit. It was loud in there. He's good, that boy. Uh, Makes sense. You people. Could this be totally an orchestration of Vince trolling me? Oh. Because he wants to get my a hand a handle on my finances. <laughs> I don't know what that would be a genius troll. <laughs> no. Uh, It'd be well, obvious. You know Which how you, you stop... finally figured it out. Yeah, well, you know how you take the air out of those tires is you release your financial information all on your own. John was so confident two days ago that he was going to, hey, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean he's dancing for you? You guys people? are the best. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's great. Suddenly, it's an insult to my intelligence because who gives a shit? Disclosure takes a while. <laughs> First, we have to. So, so, what's his hope that he'll have money by the time they have to disclose? Or he's going to die before it happens? What do you I mean? Guess. It takes a while. Who cares? We got uh, nothing but time in the devil first. That's all we you, have. You want my information? I'll wait it out. What do you think of that? <laughs> oh, my God. Figure this, out where we're going to. I haven't seen this yet. This is incredible. 
Yeah, yeah. John oh, was yeah. so confident yesterday, the day before. Mm. He's going to sue me. He's trying to strike fear into my soul over this. And then all yeah. we said was like, hey, John, I think you're getting played. This is really ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. He's like, wait a second. Is Vince playing me? It's well, that easy with this asshole. <laughs> if you go back to the Tukey thing, as it gets closer to the yeah. deadline, he starts getting wobbly legs. And, yeah. and the closer it gets, the more... Oh, well, I didn't think about this. And you know what? I don't need this and I don't need that. And yeah, somebody said to me and I was like, you know what? You're right. You know, it's yeah, always well, Mark in Canada is always the voice of reason. I sure. Yeah. Sure. Imagine what's happening in Mark's life. I mean, got to be nothing going. On. There is no Mark. settle <laughs> where we're going to try. the. Oh, I believe there's a Mark. I really do. I think there's do. one idiot out there. Well, that wasn't really Mark from Canada supposed to be in, in AC and he never showed up? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's a mark in Canada. But okay. so is Leo Gunn. Hello, fake. <laughs> Leo Gunn's real. He I is. know he is because he's in New York. I'm in California. So where are we gonna try it? This will take time, and all the while, he's talking like it's a fucking murder case. Like, like this isn't going anywhere. The second it's filed, it's go it's going to a jury. It's going. He goes, this is gonna take time, guys. Impressive. You know what? I just started watching Sammy the Bull when they're doing the thing because I was watching the houses. They looked through Gotti's old house, his mansion and stuff, and these other things came up. Right there, like he's thinking that this is what he's going into, something like this, in a few mm. minutes that he's into it. It's it it's he's insane. Yeah. He's insane that anybody can think that this is going to even last longer than what he just said, because they're gonna say, Get the fuck out of here. But the this is a the, waste of time for the judge and everybody. But see, he doesn't see that, Bob, because in his mind, he's right all the time. So there's never mm. a question of like, am I wasting the court's time? Could this be deemed a frivolous lawsuit? Uh, is there a chance yeah. that somebody's doing this just to get my information into the public? All this stuff, all this stuff. He doesn't think about any of it because he's right from the second he opens his eyes. That, that's the guy. He's not going to take advice from anybody about anything. Vince and the Embassy law firm is going to have to do their due diligence. And now, the only reason he's saying that is because Vince keeps repeating this over yeah. and over again. And serve Lady K and the shit way. Now, you couldn't be more wrong. You might yeah. ask the question, John, is that worth it to you? <laughs> is it worth it to you to release all your finances just to get back at Lady K and Shitway? Yes, it is. What if it doesn't it work? Most certainly. Dummy. <laughs> and what that, if, what yeah, if you ahead. release all this information and it never has any ramifications on me or Shuli? That isn't worth it, John, because that's what's going to happen, dummy. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's going to come from this, Angel. It really isn't. It's a giant waste of time. Is. Take that $75 and get a fucking human being haircut. All right? Do that <laughs> instead. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, the guy, the guy with tips is goofing on <laughs> I thought on he was me. talking to either one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we attacking our fucking panel? <laughs> Those fuckheads have put me through. Oh. And put my family through, oh. along with Pocky, is unheard of. Hold on, time out. So John likes to pretend that his family is all distraught by the Dabbleverse. Yeah. Someone reached out to Susanna recently, and she goes, oh, I'm surprised you guys remembered me. Yeah. That was the no, first it... sentence she wrote back. Yeah. I didn't even know you guys knew I existed. But anyway, no thanks. I don't want to do an interview. <laughs> His family's not affected by this. Only John is. And the only reason why they know about it is because he tells them. Well, that's what I was going to say. If they are ever affected by it, it's because this idiot is getting them involved in telling right. them about it. They're, they're not out there looking for WATP or Uncle Rico or any of that shit. Could you imagine he's sitting down with Lily? He's talking to her the first time in two years. He goes... This is what Gary Delabate looks like. This guy said you look like him. No, Can you man. believe how insulting that is? He thinks you look yeah. like this. Hold on, let and, me play you the clip. Yeah, and he would bring all that up without without question. He would bring that yeah. up. He doesn't. He doesn't have that fucking. She, she, she's like, Dad, good to see you again. Listen, I gotta go. I, it's fine. That's it. That's it. No, no invite at list number two. 
<laughs> Unheard of. Just of the simple humanity of it all. <laughs> Lady oh. Kay loves to shit on me. And Whoa. doesn't care about the repercussions that's going to cause. And then he weighs it after he does it. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I charge him 150 but he loves to shit on me. How did he pronounce, how did he pronounce repercussions just now? Let's do it. Let's, let's <laughs> yeah. go back and Is find out. Is this a out. percussion instrument he's talking about? <laughs> a repercussion? Right. I played it in high school. <laughs> <laughs> of the simple humanity of it all. Lady K loves to shit on me. And doesn't care about the repercussions that's going to cause to my family. Repi and on the repercussions, doesn't everybody. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> it's, so, it's, like, it's like an R&B band from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> on a midnight Hello. train to Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. Hello, Cleveland. We're the repercussions. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> Here. Uh, that my stand-up gig are going to get canceled. He don't give a fuck. He's sitting in his shithole in Rochester. What does he care? Rochester. And the sad part about it, Lady Kmart, is you are a fan of mine. No, I'm not. You <laughs> loved me on Stern. You fucking worshipped me on Stern. Wow. But you don't care. Can I tell you where that came from? Sure. So again, John's getting trolled as usual. So Cardiff was over at my house after DabbleCon. We were hanging out in my, my basement here. And uh, so Cardiff, being a troll as he always is, tells John, yeah, I was in Carl's basement. There's a shrine to you, John. He was such a huge fan. There's a whole shrine of all your memorabilia. <laughs> He's such a big fan. And John goes, oh, really? Uh, and so, <laughs> so then my buddy Vinny Paulino goes, no, I, that's not true. And John just chooses to believe yeah. Cardiff's joke about him. <laughs> he believes a potato yeah. over a fat dummy. But either way. <laughs> potato hasn't lied to me yet, Carl. I got <laughs> to take his word for it. <laughs> In the rock, paper, scissors of life, potato beats moon face every time. <laughs> That's, well, that is true. Well, that's a nice face. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Oh, my God. You keep that for like Igor from... Dude, if I had some shekels. <laughs> yeah. you, know what, yeah. you know what he looks like more and more is... Um, is it Bilbo Baggins from The Lord of the Rings? Oh, yeah. Shit. The Gollum. Gollum. No, no, no. Bilbo Baggins who has to hand over the ring to yeah. uh, the nephew. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's looking more and more there. He's just like... Hey! <laughs> he I mean, wants his precious back so bad. He's Wait. tall enough to live in one of those houses. <laughs> Grab that picture and put him, make him into a rat there. That's a rat. Oh, that's yeah, rat. that's good, too. Put him on one of those blow-up union rats they put out of building <laughs> in New York. <laughs> His face on it. Do it. Do it. Dick. Hey, I'll make money, you know, and just follow Howard's lead and goof on stuttering. The only difference, Lady K. Well, there's a, there's a, a zillion differences. A, Howard Stern is talented, which you ain't. And B, the most important part. There's a million. <laughs> Howard Stern did only goof on me. We got to two, by the way, out of a <laughs> zillion. There's a big difference. A and B. <laughs> yeah. There's so many differences. Uh, got me again. <laughs> what's after B? Never mind. Listen. I'd name them all, but I don't want to go long tonight. Oh, my God. We watched the show this afternoon. The beginning is he's like, wait till you see this MLC. What a maniac he is. And for the next five minutes, he's going, wait a minute. Maybe I have it saved here. Maybe because I know I don't. It's on my other computer. Grabs his old computer, opens oh, no. that up. He goes, and then he goes, shit, I didn't save it on here. And then he looks and he goes, Eh, never mind. He goes, I remember it for the most part. He goes, uh, I pretty much remember. It. Thanks for wasting everybody's fucking life. <laughs> Howard Stern goofed on me, Bowie, Scott, Artie, Jackie, Robin even, or at least I did, Tom. Howard Stern was an equal opportunity offender. Mm -hmm. You though, Lady K. You just said, I'm going to put all my focus on Stuttering John. And the only reason why is because I responded. 
which I get was stupid, but I didn't know what a fucking egregious asshole you were. Now, uh, if I may say, Carl, he did respond in the form of trying to take away your fucking income. Uh, that's how he yeah. responded. He didn't well, respond by saying, fuck you, stop making fun of me. He, he went to Patreon and made shit up to try to get you canceled. Correct. Yeah, John did try to get my Patreon taken down and reached out to Patreon directly, and I had a disconnect Discord from Patreon in order to fix that wow. whole thing, which is just a dick move. He's just being a douche. But uh, before that, John likes to pretend that I saw a money-making opportunity. Now, I was a partner at a company, multi-million dollar company. Uh, this is my hobby is podcasting, but John likes to say that I saw an opportunity to make fun of Stuttering John, and I just saw that as a, a money-making opportunity. What he doesn't realize is that the Stuttering John podcast was episode 109 of Who Are These Podcasts. I had never talked about Stuttering John until the 109th. I was over two years into the show before we ever talked about him. And the reason why I got booked on Anthony Cumia and where we got a ton of views is because of Greg Opie Hughes. Yeah. <laughs> before, before Stuttering John was Stuttering John, Greg Opie Hughes was Stuttering John. So he likes to forget that little piece that, no, we've goofed on a lot of people on, over here at WTP, not and, just and, John. And both were segments. They weren't entire Correct. shows. They of were course. segments in Every a Every episode's show. different, yes. And the majority of time spent on – uh, in your show is on a different podcast every week. So, and I, I wish someone would have told me because when I started doing John, I didn't make any money on WATP. We didn't right. do it that for over a year later. I wish someone would have told me like, Hey, keep milking this cash cow. Someday people will pay you for this. I had no idea. I just thought it was fun. It's crazy. Crazy. It, it's, like I always say, if we make $10 doing this, that's insane. Yeah, I was having a <laughs> blast. I couldn't wait. <laughs> and so hungry for fame <laughs> that you'll never attain. <laughs> I started the show saying goodbye to my friend, Richard Lewis, who actually achieved success. Because he knew John. <laughs> <laughs> and when people walk down the street, what you want to say? I, I love Richard Lewis. Why does he right. get brought up? It's so stupid. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you think Carl, you think Richard Lewis. Was, I mean, am I the Carl, only one? Do you know you're not as successful in comedy as Richard Lewis? Yes, yeah. I do know that. I'm We're very aware. aware of that, idiot. Yeah, yeah. Carl has yet to play Carnegie Hall. Yes, he's aware. <laughs> you say, you, need, you know who Richard Lewis was most would say yes. Yeah. If I walk down the street, you know who Carl Heberger is? H e b e r g e r no no because they have to watch your show because you're the one who uses my real name I don't idiot I wasn't looking for fame I've never used my real name you fucking moron first of all they'd give him forty three cents because they think a homeless guy just walked up to him <laughs> screaming about just a go hamburger. away here's a buck yeah. they go this guy wants a ham he just screamed hamburger at me <laughs> give him some money Lois. <laughs> Do you know a hamburger? Yeah. Over there, yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. Okay. The fucking Burger King down the road, you homeless prick. Here, <laughs> take this five dollars, tuck it in your pocket that's sticking out your goddamn sweatpants. <laughs> Rabbit ears. Nobody. Not one person. <laughs> right, I love this. <laughs> Where did Steven go? This dipshit still goes by stuttering John. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> freshly dead. Look at that. <laughs> we'll know who you are. And the same goes for the shit wear. And I'm watching Vince play the clip of the shit wear. And all I could do is just laugh. Thank you. I know I'm funny. Because the shit wear cancels his gig and leaves... Barbara and Silent Mike and Log Cabin Larry to do the show on their own. And you know, we are four days out of this show, by the way. This is four days post show. I remember, I remember shaking back, shaking backstage, going, What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? <laughs> and also, I want to point out, John loves to say, Canceled the gig. The gig was not canceled. No, the only gig that was canceled was John's gig that was supposed to be a week from Saturday here in Rochester. Uh, oh. yeah. Or Sunday. I mean, that's the gig that was canceled. And people were giving him shit for that today, too. They were like, 
There was no contract breach. You canceled because you were scared. Correct. My name and your name was not in the contract. He's lying about that. There and was a text were going. Line. Neither of us we were, were going. We weren't going to go. Which, but, what John says, you know, I threatened Carl with my motorcycle gang, but there was no motorcycle gang. I wasn't going to the comedy club, John. I don't care about your show. Yeah. But it never happened. Like, it would have to happen then, and then the club uh, would have to pay him because that's right. the fact. Right. Correct. Also, I want to say that uh, you guys know my very famous brother, Grant, and yes. his lovely wife, Christina Marie, were at your guys' stand-up mm -hmm. show, and they said that both Bob and Zen killed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That was the news I got back from your stand-up mm -hmm. show, so that's yeah. what I know about Well, this. that's yeah. the thing. Like, Bob was nervous because Shuli wasn't there, and yeah. I said, don't worry. I'm going to do Shuli's time and my time on <laughs> the same <laughs> thing. Yeah. You see Mike's on vacation with uh, Asa? Show that. I heard that. I heard that Mike was very good, too, on that show. <laughs> hey, there she is. Man. <laughs> you got him. You got him, Carl. Uh, hey. <laughs> My brother Grant's very funny. He's a very oh, sweet yeah. guy, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a, good, that's a zinger. <laughs> did, you, uh, <laughs> did you hear the other breaking news from the show from that weekend? Uh, wow, high pitch, high pitch Eric. Eric is in love oh, with yeah. my sister in law. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. So I, I got a note. He goes, I fucking love Christine Marie, she's so hot. <laughs> so I got, I got a note from uh, I believe Vince the, the midget saying, Hey, uh, Carl, you know, we can get rid of this whole lawsuit thing if we can set up Christina Marie with high pitch Eric. And I said, I'm actually not the pimp of my brother's wife, I'd love to help you out with that, but. Not my job. <laughs> Are they swingers? <laughs> You're a fucking coward. Who? You Me? are a pussy boy. And I hate to agree with Brandon, but he was right. Me? You've done nothing. Who, you me? have no credit. <laughs> Is he talking you about me? No, I think he's talking about Carl still. Done nothing. Bigger. Bigger. Make it bigger. <laughs> Don't make it bluer. Has done nothing. Shit way of has done nothing. Nothing. It's not good when you're going. Is he talking about me? I'm not sure. If he's talking <laughs> yeah, about me. You've done nothing. Is it, but he's is it got me? two hacks just to yell the same shit all the time. And the one thing two I'll middles, say about Brandon, two middles screaming real loud. Two middlers. He <laughs> has done something. He was on SNL. Uh, he was a writer on SNL. He was in the guild. Before you wait, you're sucking on his dick a little he's strong here. Right. Uh, I, I know what he said. He goes, he wrote for Colin, right? And he told me he goes, it was so hard to get jokes even through because he had his two friends, uh, Franchese and Tony Darrow, writing for him. Right. And right. He, he told me he goes, I couldn't even get stuff through. Basically, yeah, it's a it's a comfort thing, you know. When when somebody's used to somebody's right, like Howard had, there were go to people that were put up for Howard. You wanted when, to say mm -hmm. Benji, but go ahead. No, no, no. After <laughs> Benji, when the when okay. the other writers were hired, there were definitely certain writers that Howard liked their stuff more than others. That's just how it goes, yeah. you know. No, you weren't. Were you shit where? No, you fucking weren't. <laughs> were you Lady K? No. How is it that every He's hurting our feelings right now? Yeah. Didn't write for SNL. And how, how is it that? How does he think that this is that we're absorbing this information? Like, God mm. damn it, he's right. I didn't write for SNL in the nineties. Oh, damn it! And every face he makes is ugly. It, I've never seen anything like it. But it's the same thing over and over. Yeah, I'm you over know? it. I'm yeah, over middle, middle. Took you th took you three hundred episodes to figure that out. Of course, it's the same thing. Over <laughs> You can fucking sit there and you can take shots at me. Go ahead. Don't You're losers. You, you surely, I'm talking Aye. to you. Hey, I'm here. I know you're going to play it because you're obsessed yeah. with me. You wanted to be a successful stand up. What happened? What happened? <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> What well, is going on? I can tell you one thing that didn't happen. That what you just did has never happened to me. And thank God. Wow. Sick burn. Uh, See, here's the difference between me and you guys. 
at one point, I 100% absolutely wanted to be a successful stand-up. And then a thing called a family came into my life. And you know what I've wanted to be since then, John? Someone that's able to provide for my family. I know that's very foreign to you. I know it's something that you're not familiar with and you don't know how that goes. But I got to tell you, it makes me feel good no matter what I do for a living, whether it's this, whether it's working in a fucking office building. I don't give a shit. As long as my kids don't have to worry about anything and have whatever they need, as long as my wife's taken care of, I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't hang in the past and cry about it every day and get upset. I move forward, my friend. That's what yeah. you should do. You should really, really think about that. But then again, you're a fucking idiot. So what am I wasting <laughs> my time for? There's no That's point. why I'm suing myself. <laughs> yeah. Listen, people change is my point, except for this guy. You know, people definitely change and you have different priorities in life. Sure, you uh, still got three years. <laughs> no. Have you seen my ass? All right, listen. All right. Let's you didn't attain one goal in your life. How do you Not know? a one. You didn't even buy that house of yours. I did. You know what's funny is Kevin says his mom bought his house for him when he's watching him earlier. And by the way, uh, Carl, you've never seen two people equally terrible at watching clips and reacting to them than... Kevin and John, and they're yeah. watching each other, reacting to each other. But Kevin says, your mom bought your house, and he goes, that's slanderous. <laughs> but how is it slanderous for you and not for me? Because <laughs> he's, yeah. he's a public figure, and you're not. Oh, uh, that's right. That's how it know. works. Don't you know media yeah. law? If, he, if yeah. you're a celebrity. Yeah. No, you're right, TV repairman guy. Thank you. <laughs> that's how I learned from watching TV. I was repairing. You haven't attained any success whatsoever prove me wrong okay. i don't have to I don't, can, I, can i can i yeah, prove him wrong please. real quick so yeah. shuli was uh living in vegas doing open mics and then got on the howard stern show was employed by sirius except for 15 years i don't know seems like a goal <laughs> it seems like he accomplished a goal i don't know i'm just throwing it out there i mean it, it was it was pretty awesome uh so, i gotta admit sounds kind of neat yeah it was fun <laughs> if it <laughs> all idiot. ends in there I'd what an idiot! Okay. Could, could you imagine? John got hired sight unseen because he had a stutter, yeah, and mm -hmm. is so entitled by that. And then he goes, "What did you ever do?" Well, I was a caller who actually won people over with my comedy, and then they flew me out to New York, and then they hired me to be a part of the mm -hmm. station. I don't know. I did nothing. You're right. You win. Yeah, I don't like talking about it because I'm not him. But you know, some have said from caller to baller. <laughs> What's up, dog? I'm just saying, if I was John, that's not the angle I would take. Yeah, you know, well, working for Howard Server 15 years, I wouldn't be like, hey, what did you ever do ever? You're like, well, there's this okay. one thing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Throwing it out there. I stuck around for 15 <laughs> years. If I never went on air at all, that's still pretty good to hold the job down for 15 years, you know? And this is the guy who, who likes to applaud Scott the Engineer, who, by the way, is a piece of shit. It yeah. doesn't deserve any fucking credit for anything. I know. I'm being an, edu an audio engineer back in the time of tape and taping things together. I know yeah. it's very impressive. Well, you're not wrong, Carl. Like this is listen. I watched the Stern show, and and Stuttering John was a guy. He everything was handed to him. If he had yes. to have jokes, people wrote them for him. People put him in situations. He didn't have to take the initiative on anything. Guys like Shuli, they had to keep their jobs by coming up with shit constantly. I don't think he's ever come. I don't think Sorry John has come up with one bit. I, to my knowledge, I've never. No, seen I, I never. Listen, I wasn't a writer or producer for anyone. And then when the news, when Howard One Hundred News folded up shop, it was like, well, they want you to be a writer and producer now. And I'm not. What am I going to be like? Is somebody going to write jokes for me? No, I have to fucking learn how to do this. I have to figure this out. Well, uh, and, and not to get too much in, in the dirt on this, but Zen, to your point. So John tried to do that bit with Grillo where he had Grillo audition for that acting gig and he was going to prank him. Mm -hmm. And Howard was open to it. He's like, all right, let's see what you got here. And then it was so bad that he turned it on. I was just like, John, this is terrible. You can't do bits on your own. Let, let Jackie write your bits. You don't, you're not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't produce it. He didn't set it up well. He didn't. It, it, it yeah, was just how it was. Yeah. And it's like, you know, they're, they're, it's hard, man. It's not easy to do. 
I don't, I don't knock John's time there. John was great when he was there. I Listen, loved his ball busting. I loved answered his the phones shit. very yeah. well. He, he yeah. put people through on the phones very well. He uh, sometimes he took a shit, but he'd come back to the phones after a little while. And nobody, and this. I, and I mean nobody, fucked up like John. So <laughs> it was great. Yeah, they never have him come in and go. So John, what, what, what happened this weekend with you? They would you know, if it was to goof on him. If yeah, it was like, like he it, shit his pants like without or, knowing anything. Ah, uh, right. Like I mean? he wasn't just in there. He couldn't just with go them. in there and be entertaining. He was right. good material. For he sure. was really fired from baking the potato. Mm -hmm. Howard yeah. said, "You can't handle this responsibility, John." And and move to cleaning shit boots. Let's remind <laughs> everybody that. Yes, correct. Judge, state your name. John, you already know who I am. Ever hear the Kareem Abdul Jabbar Rose, the Stephanie Millet judge? Case dismissed. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Uh, Lazy's man on Mars. Getting mad at Vince Lawyer for trolling is like getting <laughs> mad at a bear for biting or a bee for stinging. Correct. That's all he knows. Uh, Melissa Young, gifting one and two. Hey, penis. I'll fuck anyone. I almost puked from laughing. Thank you, Willie Tate. Uh, please do judge Kate Leno talking, <laughs> tossing out the, put her in, Hey, put me in a, uh, you know, put me in a whole judge thing, you know, set it up boys. Let's do it. Right. Thank you. Yeah, it's cases to miss. <laughs> hey, Hey, you got busted. All right. Put it back up. <laughs> hey, you got busted for cocaine. Let me see that. All right. Let's take a 15 minute recess. I'll be right back. <laughs> I can go to the evidence chamber. I mean, uh... Uh, I have to go meet with myself in my chambers. Bye. <laughs> uh, do you agree? The first person to convince John to allow cameras in his home and on his body 24 seven will surely become yeah. a multi. Yeah. yeah. He should get Bob. that, uh, that fish tank guy. Was it Sam Hyde? Yep. He should get involved. Uh, the stocking of shelves at Salvation Army. <laughs> now he said he lied to Vince about that. That he never that he didn't work there. He was just doing it to to rile Vince up. And even Vince was like, Yeah, okay, but I don't understand the payoff. Yeah, what's the there, joke? Right? Yeah, what's, yeah. The, what's the joke there? Oh, I was like trolling you. You don't get it? Yeah, no, we don't get it. It's like his Trump call, you know. Yeah. Carl Frosted Tips and Show Tunes. Something you want to tell the group, uh, Carl? Whoops. Yeah, yeah, you caught me there. My bad. Uh Kate Meany, aka Jaw Leno. You want the law you want the lawsuit John's way? Judge says, what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> John actually took the IQ twist, uh, IQ test twice to be sure. He got an 82 and an 83 equals 165. Uh. What's to argue? Shit, way up. <laughs> that makes that actually makes more sense. That, you should use uh, that rap. He saw Rosenberg from the Jerky Boy <laughs> sue everyone. Punitive damages. My Velcro shoes fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Jingles is a Very saint. Hurtful. John is garbage. Thank you. Oh, Janet. thank you, Janet. That's sweet of you. Appreciate it. Uh, what a douche i think oh okay Dick, what a douche huh? wish i was in ac with bob uh yeah he is a douche carl's wife is legit hot funny supportive and talented jelly john strikes again take it easy that's buddy. the gayest thing i've ever heard in my entire life <laughs> thank, thank you. you very much i appreciate that his eyebrows are looking crazier than ever well so is he mr awesome and i'm glad to see you're back from the mushroom trip i hope everything went well he stated emphatically that vince the lawyer wasn't mj recently uh, it's all over the place. Yeah. Guys, I just broke my <laughs> asshole. I need off tomorrow. Real Mike Morris. All right. No problem. I like that guy. Sign him up. <laughs> what happened between you and Russo? You and Russo. Bro. Vince Russo? Nothing. Vince, we're all good, man. Love me some Vince Russo. Joe Russo? Joe Russo. I don't like that much. <laughs> Beer, chips, ice cream, KFC, pizza chicken, no bread. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. This is his diet: beer, chips, ice cream, KFC pizza. It's chicken, crazy, but no bread. He's no telling bread. you about how he's he's trying to take away his, or he's trying to lower his caloric intake, and he's chugging Mountain Dews. Like, he's, what the he's, fuck? he's drinking Ensure, eating bacon and eggs yeah. <laughs> for breakfast. I mean, it's he's just, like, well, I'm watching the calories. Like, well, if you said carbs, I would understand. What are you yeah. doing? 
like if you blindfolded yourself and threw darts at a menu, you couldn't pick more fucked up <laughs> shit to eat in a day. I don't care what you know, go say Zen is funny yeah. as fuck. That's he is. That's why he's here. Get yeah. me it's a troll. Hey, Colonel Clink. I was going to Tony Robbins 2024. Eat healthier, work more, uh, read more books, study to improve myself. So far, my eating's up, my <laughs> drinking's up, my smoking's up, and I watch 25 hours a week of TSN and WATP. Winning. You're yes, killing it. Clink. You're hey, killing man. it. And I bet you're happier than a pig and shit, right? That's Good right. for you. Would this be another rake John steps on? John suing Vince to prove his wealth? His wife gets to finally get John for hiding money? Oh, my oh. God. Oh. Holy shit. So that was oh. another theory that came out when, okay, this is hilarious because when John finally revealed that he was working for Salvation Army for minimum wage, 15 bucks an hour, loading trucks, and then the next day he went, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. So yep. then he pretends he's trolling everyone. Yep. People who were saying... Could it be that John did not let Susanna know that he was making money in December, and so he had to pretend he wasn't making any money? I mean, look, I would pay whatever I have to owe if I was divorced from my wife or the kids, but I think if I got a job at the Salvation Army, you wouldn't be getting a call from me going, you guys sitting down, huh? <laughs> Guess who's the new <laughs> unloader guy at the Salvation Army? That's a fair point. You They're know? like, all right, so so what do you work at? Like 40 hours a week? No, seven. Seven. Right, well, just, don't know. even bother us with this. It's fine. Hey, man, I'm still, I, there's a lot to learn. You know, I want to ease my way into this. So, uh... It ends December 26th. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say you have to call me Lieutenant Menendez from now on. <laughs> Hey, CJ, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. He's coming to Governor's, BSShowLive.com. we got some live shows coming up. Go check them out. And uh, Huntington Beach, California, yeah. May 17th and 18th. Billy C., is John using the tampons for his roids? They're going to get used. I agree with Carl. Yeah. They're, they're going to get. Hey, Carl, can you sign my knife? <laughs> Oh, the other day he said, Carl says, I asked OJ to knife question when he was in the limo. No, Carl, he was right next to me. I'm like, there's no fucking footage of that. What ask he Doug. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> ask Doug. Poor Doug, leave him alone. Uh, I like shitting in tubs. This is from S. Allen. Can't super chat. John will show every dime, uh, both of them. I love that. <laughs> Janet, Law and Order, Special Needs Man Unit, like that. <laughs> Love you, Bob. Best Stern guest ever. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you guys all missed it. Stuttering John said uh, in a show a couple weeks ago, if I wake up, that, if I wake up, oh, to go file the lawsuit, right? He oh, says, wow. I'm going to file it Friday if I wake up. That's a huge tell. He's preparing to not wake up due to that yayo and beer. Uh, he may as well start his rants with, let me tell you something mean, Gene. <laughs> it's pure WWE at this point. Correct. That is 100%. Challenger, prove me wrong. What have you ever achieved in the entertainment business besides weighing two fucking fat fuck shit? Well, who's going to watch skinny people shit, number one? <laughs> number two... First, it was one fat fuck, okay? The second, it was so successful, there was a craptacular two, dipshit. Thank you. Lady K, what have you done? Oh, well, well, John, I have 2,000 2, patrons. Uh, it's that. actually like 10,000. Yeah, so, it's, more, uh, it's more than that. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I don't. Who gives you're the, the one fuck lady about came on. You're married to your mom. Oh, good one, Kevin oh, Brennan. Boy, mm -hmm. coming from a guy who wishes he was married to his yeah. mom. She's right, oh, the only... that's a that's a singer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this guy. This is a, his mom would be the only woman who'd say yes at this point. I think. <laughs> but ugly. You have no kids. So my my wife you is live in much. Much younger than his ex-wife. Just want to point oh, that yeah. out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Much younger than, than his ex-wife. But, oh, no, I'm married to the old lady. All right, go ahead, John. Keep That's going. Like, you know. 
he's still holding on to this fantasy that that video is going to go viral and, and him, the him and Kevin Brennan both. It's fucking yeah. crazy to me because it was so any funny. Any day now, any Kevin, day now, they're Kevin Brennan point played that video. Kevin Brennan played that video for Joe Manorese, who should hate my guts because I've been goofing yeah. on Joe Manorese for a week straight. And Joe, his reaction was, I don't get it. <laughs> I like no, John, you, you got yeah, me, buddy. Like, you got me. Keep yeah, he's a good sport. Yeah. Manchester, your teeth are fucked up, and so is your brother Grants. Damn. Wow. He's got a bigger sp space between his front teeth than Strahan. <laughs> wow. But Grant. not Harry Jane, though, obviously. Grant. Let's not go that far. <laughs> Grant getting hit with shrapnel over yeah. here. Whoa. I love that John makes fun of me for living in uh, Rochester. It's called Rochester, not Rochester. <laughs> Meanwhile, we both own houses in Cape Coral. Like, he's just like, <laughs> why are you living in Rochester? Like, John, we, we're neighbors. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, but you're not here. You're just making money off of it while you're not here. <laughs> yeah. Loser. I know. I'm an idiot. What a loser you are. Oh, we were talking about uh, Uncle Rico uh, renting your place and doing some shows from there, if possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we would like to do that. We'd like to talk about that. Let's offline. do it. Let's go. <laughs> so please. <laughs> and they're sitting there goofing on me. Silent mic. <laughs> Annoying. Prop hack comic. Now, you'll give it a Carrot Top. Carrot Top might be a prop comic, Scott, might as be. I know him. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, did he tell you you were brilliant too, John? Because <laughs> I hung out with him. I had fucking dinner with him. And he's a great fucking guy. He must have paid. Yeah. Get him on your show if he's so great. Yeah. And I defend him. He may be a prop comic, but he's damn good at who do you what he defend does, him from? And he makes yeah. Who's who's who are you getting into <laughs> verbal battles with over Carrot Top? <laughs> Multi millions every year. No oh, shit, Silent Mike. You ain't no Carrot Top. You're not even Carrot Top light. Ooh, you don't think we know that? A Carrot Top has a trunk. Mike's props are in his pants. They're in his ass. <laughs> You're just a hack. Anybody can pull a prop out of a trunk. Pull one out of your ass and kill with it. That's not easy. Yeah, you're right. Mike's more like more of a bottom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love that the leaf blowers are just going by while he's done. I digress. That's his. <laughs> but then I see. Yeah. Well, who Silent the fuck Mike... thinks getting there? Who's doing leaf blowing at, at, at fucking eleven o'clock at night? You crazy old man. <laughs> Because that's not me. <laughs> I can shit with Well, if they knew why you had to cancel the gig, they would understand. It was a very important medical emergency. Fuck off, Bob. You're fucking lying. I'm calling you out. God damn it. Uh oh. Oh, and I'm is mad that you that you you don't that you don't think I'm lying to. I told Julie to fuck his kids and get on the fucking plane, <laughs> and he wouldn't. He hung up on me. <laughs> he, he don't have any kids because no chick would want to fuck him. Who? He's more pathetic than Ray DeVito. Hold Who? on, hold on. I'm bringing it back. Medical I'll emergency. Look. Fuck off, Bob. You're fucking lying. I'm calling out. <sighs> and Silent Mike... With his, he don't have any kids. Silent Mike does have kids. Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah unfortunately. <laughs> what is he? How many kids does he have? Uh, Ooh, two. Think. They were puppets. He used yeah. them on stage. And, uh, <laughs> he amazed. had three, but he ate one. You could see by his hips. <laughs> no, he's got two kids. Swallowed yeah. it like a boa constrictor. <laughs> because no chick would want to fuck him. He's more pathetic than Ray DeVito. <laughs> and he's like, a, yeah, yeah, John would never know about. <laughs> I love this thing that John does too. He's so childish. This is, I, I hate to say this, it's literally junior high. He goes, Oh, you don't have any kids? You must be a virgin. Like, no, no, John. People, yeah. people can have sex without getting someone impregnated. You know yeah, that. Some, right? some people drop it off in the shit pipe. <laughs> right. As hey, I always cool. say, 
I like to eat, I like to come by the tits. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you hear about this? Hey, somebody say shit fight? That was backstage. What's up? Hey, uh, night on Kate's garage. Let's explore the back seat of all my cars where I get blowjobs for Coke. Uh, hey, somebody get James Franco to spend 127 hours in my poo poo cave. All right, we'll be right back. Right after this. Hey, my asshole's the Gaza Strip and it's blowing up. Hey. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back with TV's Brett Butler. All right. <laughs> TV's Brett Butler. Uh, As opposed to movies, t- uh, <laughs> Brett Butler. Speaking of butts. You know, uh, you know doing anything with a you know, family emergency. <laughs> really, Silent Night? <laughs> really? Oh. Uh. Guys, I gotta go. This is hey, out. hey oh, you come came on. Home? Did you All right, get out of here. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you guys. <laughs> Carl, nice to see you. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> we love you, pal. Had an hour. Thank we you. love you. Uh, <laughs> nothing funnier than a grown man being chased off by <laughs> an even more grown man who just came home upstairs. <laughs> Bob loves it so much when he has to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you love it. I'd you be in jail. It. I swear to God, I'd be uh, in jail. Yeah, the, the, when Bob goes, what? He goes, he's an old guy, and you haven't told him to go fuck himself yet? <laughs> Zed's like so sweet. He's like, nah, I don't want to bother. He goes, okay. he goes, and Bob's like, I had to rip his fucking throat out by now. Because oh, oh, right. we'll get into why. Because, okay, all right, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> when my kids were very young, like the shitways kids. Uh-huh. I was there every minute. <laughs> wow, way to go. Hey. <laughs> What's your point? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every minute. Well, except for those 16-hour days he was putting in at the Tonight Show. That's true. That's true. And financially, you weren't there for eight months, uh, at least. So They had a fucking anything. <laughs> he was there every day helping him pack up and get the fuck out of the house. They <laughs> threw him out. <laughs> You know, anything. My oldest broke his leg. Boom! Right to the hospital. <laughs> Why did you supposed to be? What the fuck is going on? Boom! <laughs> You're supposed to take care of your kids, John. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You're supposed Jesus. to stay out of jail. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, John loves taking credit for things you're supposed to do. You're supposed Not, uh, to stay out of jail. Nothing. You're supposed to take your kid to the hospital. Yeah, nothing make a parent happier than taking their kids with a broken <laughs> leg to the hospital. <laughs> Holy shit. And I always did. I was you want, every you want to hide money from Suttery John? Put it in the books. Suttery <laughs> John doesn't look at books. He won't uh, find that money. Put it in his kid's room. That motherfucker ain't in there. <laughs> <laughs> put it in the report card. John won't find that money in their report card. John don't care about his kid's report card. <laughs> Uh, this is my uh, new character. I love it. I love it. What an idiot. <laughs> uh, Chris Melendez. <laughs> oh Every Rock bottom Melendez. Rock bottom Melendez is great. Oh. I took my son. I would take my kids to the doctor. Been to almost. I think I'm probably every track meet. Wow. There are. As soon as he got there, the kids started running the opposite <laughs> direction. John thought Gary was a loser for cleaning up his son's vomit. I would say he only did the bare minimum for his kids, but we have legal documentation. He didn't even do that. It's worse than that, and I hate to bring like actual facts into this. But it's, it. in his, it's in his book. John's youngest was born on January 1st, first baby born in the Valley that year. Right. And John was having a New Year's party and was so drunk he couldn't even drive his wife to the hospital. Wow. This is a true story. His wife was cleaning up after him and his buddies who were having a a New Year's Eve party. And then her water broke. He's like, really, Susanna? You're going to ruin my party with your water breaking right now? Really? I love it. Once I sobered up, I was there for my kid. (laughs) You want to cut the umbilical cord? Me, while he's cutting her hair. Ah, oh, whoops! <laughs> Every face stuttering John makes look like someone put plastic googly eyes on a photo of him. 
This lawsuit is like the Mexican standoff in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> now, your lawyer, stop pointing that fucking lawsuit at my dad. Uh, You're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stuttering John, the problem is everyone in Howard's studio goofed on you, not just Howard. More on alert. More on alert. Boom. Thank Boom. You. Uh, John would show every dime he has, both of them. Mm. Yes. That's a good line. Uh, he's definitely getting evicted before Easter. That's what I'm saying. Ben the Ramper, great picture. Thank you. <laughs> My mom's hair was not far off from that. I have a picture. I got to find it. How many See green that? screens are there on Skid Row? I wonder, because <laughs> honestly, there's got to be a few homeless people who are broadcasting from their tent. There's got to right? be. There's got to be. be. Like, John will just like be like, yeah, and by the way, I'm doing way better than the Jacksons over there. Yeah. <laughs> you, the guy, you see the guy in the fridge box? Fucking hack. Yeah. <laughs> Maytag. <laughs> Maytag. What a pussy. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, he's not going to be able to bring his green screen because there's no smoke detectors to hang it on in his tent. Mm. Not even my Good water point. buffalo leather jacket can protect me from these douche chills watching John's mm. uh, gaping mouth say those words. Uh... uh what is this? He, this what happened. Uh, his hat. His what happened. Line is butchering a line by the great Fred Willard in a mighty wind. His oh, what happened? That's that's the line. That's right. Carl, you don't fucks with girl or alien workshop. Uh, you don't fucks with the vandals or lag wagon. Send Stevie Lou the link. R.I.P. Bobby Nick. All right, so he's talking about some skateboard companies and some punk rock bands. And uh, I love Girl and Alien Workshop, and I've seen Lagwagon live. They're great. Uh, I freaking despise Jay Leno for this. John's delusions were validated. He created a monster. (laughs) Sorry to be topical, but did you catch Carlos Danger's Frosted Tips on MLC? A crush on Carl, perhaps? No, I didn't see that. I see that. Wow. All right. Carl I even Danger's flew back. with my fucking oldest to South fucking Carolina. That's right, Pocky. What? Because you think I'm boom right to the hospital. And you know he's lying again because he looks up during this rant. That's where his lies always are. And I always did. But I imagine was at every bragging t- about every... driving your kid to the hospital because they broke a bone. Yeah. This is where we're at right now. Well, then does it surprise you that I'm like, hey, my kid's got a serious thing going on. I'm going to stay home. And he's like, what? He's like, yeah. what? This is what are insane. you talking about? I drove my kid to the hospital. But if I had a stand up gig that night, I definitely would not have. <laughs> oh, yeah. If he fucking if Brennan wanted him to come on, he'd be like, get that. <laughs> I'll get you an Uber. They'll drop you right off. Time. Vince, get her an Uber. I took my son. I would take my kids to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm probably every track me. Could you imagine? I flew with my fucking oldest to South the, fucking Carolina. That's right, Pocky. The argument between him and Susanna. Yeah. Can you please take Lily to the doctor today? She has an appointment at 2.30. Susanna, don't you understand? I'm like a head writer for like a segment for like a bit part of like the cold open. Don't you understand that about me? Susanna, How are you making me <laughs> drive these, the kid to the hospital? These free t-shirts aren't going to jump out of the box in the back <laughs> of the tonight show and into my car by themselves. I got to grab. I, this, this is why I don't want to involve his family because it, it, mm. it, that's going too far, but I'd love to hear Susanna's side on this. When he says shit oh. like this, I guarantee there's another side to the story. There is, and the fact that he keeps saying you're just hearing her side of it, yet he's not telling us his side. This is the this is the issue, John. You keep saying all we're hearing is her side, so let's hear your side. Let's see your side. But well, the also, reality of it is that is the story. What's in those court documents is the fucking story. His side is in that those documents. I read through all of them. But also, Vince the lawyer... Going, yeah, you know, they're offering money to Susanna to come on and interview. Yeah. He's like, well, she probably shouldn't do that. I don't think she'd like that. Like, that scares the shit out of him. Yeah, absolutely. And he's trying to kind of scare the shit out of her without doing it. Yeah. So so, like, oh, wait till I the trolls come after yeah. that happens. Yeah. I don't think that's a you good idea. Like yep. Yeah. Uh huh. I wonder why. Because he was great. He, he was a great long-distance runner. 
cross country. I went to every one of their fucking track meets. I think every one of their fucking baseball games, softball games, <laughs> soccer matches, recitals. And then I wanted some strange, so I left all of them. <laughs> but what am I going to do? Eat pizza every night? <laughs> yeah. Anytime Susanna didn't have dinner ready, boom, I was there with a helping fist or two. Jay Dad, thank you, buddy. Um, it's funny. Plays. I was there. Silent Mike. So don't start lecturing me on what a good parent is. Okay? Because my kids know what a good parent I am and have been. Come on, point devil point, Knight Melendez. Oh, <laughs> my God. So I got a text here with some it's information. <laughs> tell me if tell me if this is accurate or not. Mm -hmm. Susanna went into labor with baby either baby number one or number two while they were in a movie theater, and John was pissed uh, that she wanted to leave. Uh, he went to the hospital hungover and was sleeping off the hangover uh, while his mother in law walked Susanna around the hospital floor trying to get her water to break. Uh, that that's something from uh, a source, and that's his best mm. performance at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that that's right. Whoops! What happened? Hey, what happened? <laughs> hey, what happened? He doesn't know. Uh, he don't know. Fuck off, Mike. Say it to my face. Whoa, school. Well, he wanted to come see you in AC, and you said you would attack him the second he walked up to you. But it's just nonstop with these assholes. Oh. Then, when I said, "What is that?" Vince, now a lot of times I bullshit. That's wrong. Fucking. Oh okay. When I'm with Vince, he thinks he's like fucking Barbara fucking Walters, and he's getting all this amazing intel from me. But I know what he's doing, and I get people. Vince is trolling you. No, I'm trolling him. I am trolling. Vince. Well, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> so I the shit. Imagine John is down to his king, his queen is gone. Yep. He's lost all of his pieces. He's like, oh, yep, I got you just where I want you. Yeah. <laughs> now you're going to pay. <laughs> Fucking idiot. He's that guy with the sword for an Indiana Jones. You know, he's just flipping it around and it's just, no, just pull out a gun and shoot. He's the, he's the guy from uh, Monty Python. Yeah. Where he's like, oh, his, yeah. both of his arms are off, and one of his lies, he's like, all right, now I got you. Uh -uh. No, just, the, uh, just the flesh wound. Get back <laughs> here. Uh -uh. It's over, Jack. That Vince is uncovering from me is horseshit. Uncovering from I me. I pull it out of my ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vince. I, yeah, I got lucky with the uh, this Asian girl that I was. Having lunch with in North Hollywood never happened. Oh, good one, John. You didn't. You didn't fuck a hot girl. Wow. John, yeah, who wow. would have believed we all, that? We shocked. all thought. Yeah, we all thought for sure it was a slam dunk, dude. <laughs> Jesus, I, I did five episodes on John getting laid, and now I feel like an idiot. Wow. Who would have thought? I had a feeling it might not be true when he said he dumped inside of her. <laughs> so stupid. class act that he is. He doesn't even know how hey. trolling works. He's just like, yeah, I told you I got laid. You didn't believe me. Well, guess what? It wasn't real. Like, well, yeah, I, no, I know. <laughs> I like to eat different pizza and come in it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Did you use a condom? No. Because it never happened. <laughs> John, you don't talk to your oldest son. No! Of course I do! Uh huh. The backpedal Olympics right here. Yeah. John, you didn't go to your uh, oldest son's wedding. No, nobody did! I'm sure that's what they told him. Look at this. Look at that weird smile he has when he says that. Can you back that up three yeah. seconds? Yeah. This, this is not how you would celebrate not being at your son's wedding. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, nobody did. Oh, uh, that's that's embarrassing. Uh, uh, yeah, dude. Your son eloped. You, no one was invited, and you're like, yeah. See, I know I wasn't there, but neither was Susanna, so I win. 
No, that's bad, John. That's a bad thing. You want to be a part of your ch- children's lives. That's. I mean, you have a kid waiting for that day, kind of. You that's know, it's crazy. Yeah. They did it in justice and a peace. That's a victory for him. In a different state. That's pathetic. that's where he's at, Carl. You're that's right. Pathetic. That's that's a win. That's a win right now. I wasn't there, but neither was Susanna, and neither was Aaron. You're like, well, okay, but that's not a W. You but they got because right? they didn't even have an easy pass. It was a different state. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could hear him laughing in Susanna's face. Ha ha ha. All right. <laughs> And nobody was invited because of COVID. But this is the shit these idiots cling to. They have to cling to it. Like, it's real. But it ain't. So far, most of the shit people have clung to has been 100% accurate and real. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, people are making up that I'm a substitute teacher. People are making up that I drive for Uber. One after the other. Check, check, check. School. Oh. Oh. And then the the whole Salvation Army. Okay. To the fans of Stuttering John, (laughs) I give you my word. If I had a Bible, if I believed in that shit, (laughs) I will swear on my life right now, may I drop dead. I never ever worked for the Salvation Army. So this guy's lied swearing on his kids' lives, on his life. Like, mm-hmm. this is all bullshit. This is all bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're not. Bad. We're wrapping up in a few Ever. Minutes. But again, <laughs> that was I'm cool. playing fucking Vince <laughs> like a fiddle. And when he goes, John, did you work at Salvation Army? And I go, yeah, I did. He goes, oh, I detect your lying. Okay, time for chess. <laughs> John, the puppet master. Yeah, I was, Vince. It wasn't volunteer work. It was, uh, I got paid. Like, this could work if he was a decent liar. Forget good. If he was yeah. a decent liar. Or actor. And he's just not. Right, actor, liar, whatever you want to call it. But he's not. He's not good at it. So you well, just this, see. This is like when he says that, um, you know, his, his kids don't talk to him anymore. And he goes, well, I told someone that to find out who was trolling me. It's like, yeah, but you're the one planting the seed. Like, so why would you tell someone? I would never go out and be like, yeah, these frosted tips are not because <laughs> right. I lost the bets because I'm a, a gay man right. and I'm starting a boy band. I wouldn't like tell a guy at the bar that hoping to see it on Reddit someday. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. I knew this guy was going to out I me. I played him. <laughs> yeah, I win. I win again. It's so stupid. And Carl texted me before he came on. He said, "Can you spread a rumor that P Diddy did something to me?" And I'm like, "Carl, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go down this road." God damn it! Come on, play along. I'm trying to troll everyone. <laughs> no, Vince. And and I agree with this. He didn't get paid to work at Salvation Army. It was ordered by. I, I think that's true too. I, I yeah. said this on WTP today. So John. Was say, said he was volunteering in Salvation Army. Then Vince said, "Well, what's going on with that? Because it seems like that's not truthful." He goes, "Okay, I was getting paid." So then he comes back. I think the getting paid thing was to cover his ass for the fact that it might have been court ordered. Yes. So I think he lied twice about yeah. it. And now, and now he's going. Now he's a third lie to cover yeah. the last two lies. That's what I, I mean, think. Wow. I, wow. I've been worried about Chad Zubak 100 percent of the time, so I'm just applying the same logic here. No, Vince, that wasn't the lie. The lie was I never worked there. <laughs> this is like the, the shell game, but there's nothing under any of the shells. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> is it number two? No, it's no. under 103 either, you idiot. Like, Guess okay. what? None of them. Give me your money. <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay, well, then this game doesn't exist. So what are we doing? <laughs> Vince, you got to understand. You're playing checkers. I'm playing chess. Susanna. With seven S's oh, on it. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, why? Why? Oh, I don't on. care. Go back. Didn't he just spit? Didn't he just yep. spit? Yeah. yeah. You're playing checkers. I'm playing chess. Here it comes. Watch. Susanna. 
Oh, he said, Johnny, why? Oh, why? Oh, and I don't care. Oh, oh look, there's I'm another one. Over the place. Uh, Do a whole emergency. Oh, yeah. we did. You're playing checkers. <laughs> I'm playing chess. Susanna. Oh, he said, Johnny, why? <laughs> why? And I don't care. If I'm look, I'm splitting all over the place. Whenever, whenever they show uh, Bill's games in Buffalo, they always have the aerial shot of Niagara Falls. <laughs> That's like one of the things like, hey, we're in Buffalo and here's Niagara Falls. I would love it for Rams games from now on. They're like, yeah, we're in Los Angeles. And by the way, here's Suttery John drooling all over himself. <laughs> Landmark. <laughs> CBS has got to pick up on this. <laughs> Do a whole emergency so John Spinning. Done I can and give done. Frog's fat ass. <laughs> no, it's not an emergency show. That's called DabbleCon Two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's literally called Wednesday night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, twenty five minutes, twenty seven seconds, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're gonna halt that. Uh, I know, but Carl Carl was nice enough to jump in here. Yeah, Bob Bob's tired. I'm tired. We got a morning show to do. Uh, and we will be back tomorrow morning. But let me get to these super mm-hmm. chats. And Carl, you can hang if you want. You can jump off. The morning you. show? Whose idea was that? You guys are dumb. I hate you it. Sleep I in. Hate it. I what? Yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the guy who's yeah. the most exhausted every morning. It was his idea. No, no, you guys, you guys are fantastic. I, love, I always wake up to the BS show. Thank you so much for having me on. I just want to say WATPLive.com. Oh, look, look at how sweet that is. This guy. Have your rotation the yeah, don't take it. Per- he's crippled, so it can't do that much damage. Yeah. Uh, but he's a good guy. I go literally ahead. was texting with uh, Gino Bisconti the other day, and I go, just so you know, Keanu is not in my spank bank. I've never J-O'd to Keanu because I just feel bad that John's bragging about, what about jerking Gino? off. Yeah. G- well, Gino's no. hot. But, you know, Keanu, he, I have respect for. I'm not going to do that. Gino dresses more like a chick than his chick does, so I'm fine with that. Headband. WATPLive.com. We're going to be in Largo, Florida, and that's March 22nd. Please come join us. If you're in Florida, easy drive. If you're not, come and hang out for the weekend. I'll be there all weekend. A fun vacation. WATPLive.com, Largo, Florida. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. You got it, Carl. Carl Sprouse, the tip says, do you like my tips? Uh, Yes, we do. Fantastic. Thank you, buddy. Go check out Carl. Follow, support. Good dude, man. I meant, why did you and Bob leave the brand? Oh, Russo's thing? Because we were going to start this YouTube channel. Yeah. That's why we left. But we left on great terms. He's a great guy. We did the BS show because of Vince. He was like, you and Bob got to do a, a, like a morning show together. So I don't think he said morning, but yeah. uh, oh, God, he's such a douche. Allah. Donna, wait, what? Stuttering John is out of Vince the lawyer biz. I need Mike in the whiteboard. I cannot keep up. Well, remember, <laughs> Donna, he was on the phone later that episode. So oh, really? how about say Han? Don't spray Han. Huh? Stuttering John. Hmm. Uh, should my, uh, should plus Mike Rowe equals dirty jobs, crantacular. So maybe that was surely surely plus yeah. Mike Rowe equals dirty jobs, craptacular three. I don't think Mike would do it. Only poor. Oh, turbo mini only pores get so proud about being able to have to complete breakfast after going to the store, have a complete breakfast. Yes. Carl's Frost and tips. We love them, yeah. pal. We love you. Stuttering John. I got the Purple Heart and the Medal of Honor during my tours with the Salvation <laughs> Army. I saw some shit and unloaded all of it. Poto and goes to Kodo. Kodo say he laugh a lot at Bob. He hi hi. Oh, you read this part. Go ahead. He hi hi hi. Bird, eagle, horse, horn, duda, horn, duda, horn, do. Uh, Zen's neighbor show up to fill. Zen's neighbor showed up to fill up his trough. Thank you, Chris. Come, I can't baby. believe a grown man gets that scared when somebody in their seventies comes home. <laughs> no one said All Star Team was playing tonight. That's the beauty of guys like Carl and Kumia. They yeah. come through like they're they're good people, man. Mm-hmm. Your Honor, two lawsuits stole my truck. <laughs> 
Uh, Carl asked his hairstylist for the Mike McGill do. Yeah. I like it. Gender confusion? Boom! Stra Starlight to hospital. Uh, who's the cute blonde girl? <laughs> She's gone. Sorry, I would have hooked you up. I didn't see this. You notice he's saying he did all these things with anger because I'm guessing his wife forced his wife forced him to go to all these things for the kids, and he resented her for it. I think he resented his entire family for a lot of reasons. Yeah, guy trolling him at Pickwick is the funniest. I I got to get a hold of this guy. Yeah, I got it. What does he call him? Scorpio. We got to get a hold of Scorpio. Yeah. Uh, is does that it, anybody you call up and ask the guy to ask out loud? Is anybody a Scorpio here? We're Will calling tomorrow. Down? We're gonna call tomorrow. It's like that old uh, prank calls to that bar in New York. That guy read. Yeah. Hey, Scorpio, there. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. Yeah, it's, uh, what's his what's his last name? Scorpio, suck my dick. Listen here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Does AJ Benza watch? I'll hang up and listen. I don't think so, but I don't know. Uh, Sasha, surely you've dug a tunnel to my heart. Your network <laughs> fills my days with joy. I love you guys. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you for your support. I wish Stuttering John could do AI art. Maybe then we'd get to see a glimpse of the person he thinks is buying yeah. this horse shit. That'd be great. Uh, John, hey, Clyde, proud vet. Love you, buddy. John, oh, wait, you what like... Wait, Chaser? Hold on. You okay. guys need the VIP invite to Hunt Huntington for that guy, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio? Yeah. If I get a hold of him, he's going to be on the fucking show with us. Forget <laughs> VIP tickets. John, you lie constantly. People say we don't believe your stories. Then you mm -hmm. claim that you never lie because you're OCD. Then claim you're trolling when you admit to lying. How does this work exactly? It it's, doesn't, Clyde. It's confusing. We should get Ethan, Ralph, and Stuttering John together. I see a Mexican hovel in John's future. Uh, I love the BS show on my very long drive to work. Well, good. You still got it. I miss Mike, but I don't want to. Well, you don't have to, you know, and just pretend you don't. Hey. Uh, hey. All right. Listen, BS yeah. show live. Doctor, hey, bsshowlive.com. Uh, come on out. Get your tickets. Uh, we got Point Pleasant. Mm -hmm. We got Governors in Long Island. Uncle Vinny's Point Pleasant. We got uh, May 17th and 18th, The Rec Room, Huntington yeah. Beach, California. All these shows, bsshowlive.com. <gasps> Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. We'll be dragging a little last, but, we'll, you know, bear with us. We'll be fine. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. That's all for the Uncle Rico Show. That's all for the Uncle Rico Show.